Hello, welcome to Friday Night Cyberpunk Red. We uh, we're kind of in between games right now, so what better time than to play some more Cyberpunk? Yeah, because <laughs> we can't get enough of Cyberpunk. I love it. I love it. So we have some familiar faces. We have some new faces here. Uh, I'll do the usual. We'll do the round table and let people promote what they got going on. Uh, I got Leopold. Do I have your your at? Do I have your Twitter handle correct? Leah Leah Bould. No, it's the, a P. The, the juiced. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Um, Is that cool. correct? Yeah, I don't oh. know. I'm I'm not on. I'm not uh, on. L e o p o l d the. Yeah, that's it. It used yes. to be Leopold the Just, but then I deleted my Twitter, and then I and I had to make another one. But anyway, uh, just find you can search for Leopold the Just on Twitter and Instagram. Even though I mostly just post pictures of my dog's face uh, with some memes on there, but uh, Facebook, all those places. Um, specifically want to shout out uh one of the companies i work for zombie orpheus they have a twitch channel as well and as well as a youtube channel um they also have some films on amazon prime and youtube and another there's a streaming service called the fantasy network that's mostly free worth checking out as well it's got a bunch of good indie fantasy films like afk and mythica and the zombie orpheus stuff yeah it's, it's it's pretty cool if you're just looking for some indie fantasy stuff to watch um uh there's also that's probably i mean they have a they have a show on mondays at um 8 p.m uh pacific or no 6 p.m pacific i get the time wrong every time uh <laughs> it's at 6 p.m pacific on mondays i know for a fact that's what it is uh and it's a cool uh, i think they use savage worlds and it's a cool like um uh time traveling uh you know, multiverse jumping game. It's pretty cool. It's worth checking out. Savage World no is the Oaks language. Yeah. I think that's what they're using now. It's either, they used to use Tristat DX, but I think that's what they switched. Interesting. Cool, cool. Oak. Oak, tell the people about your channel. Speaking of Oak uh, and his channel, it's a, Savage it's just World. A baby. Yeah, it's still just a baby. Uh, Twitch TV slash Uriens, U R A E N C E. Uh, run some RPG stuff where I can and when I can. Me and uh, Answolf trying to get a steady Savage Worlds game going, and hopefully we'll be doing that tomorrow night. Yeah. Other than that, maybe some PC games here and there, but yeah, I'm just trying to get growing. Make it happen. Let's play some Savage Worlds already, guys. You lucky Americans with your copies of Suede in your hands, and I have to wait forever. I saw it today. Someone posted they got theirs in Brazil, so... <laughs> No, nope. Canadians are so rough with that. The shipping. We're always anything. the worst and last for anything like that. I've just come to accept it. I just you can't get mad. You just gotta just accept it. So uh, far, I'm going to. I'm linking Oaks Twitch channel right now. I think you can oh, link you. your own stuff now. I think that's been turned off. The strictness of the links in the past. That's good. Uh okay, we have I don't Constance Fawn, do you guys have anything going on that you want to promote? No, I don't have anything. I, I just wanted I'm to just say like hi. A hermit. <laughs> yeah, hi. Same. <laughs> Hello, world. Awesome. So, yeah, some new faces. New faces, new people. Well, Constance has played here a lot. It's just her first time here on camera with us, and this is the first time Fawn's playing with us. He's always in the chat. So we are playing Cyberpunk Red. We're getting back into another one shot. We like semi pick up where we left off. We have a couple of reoccurring characters that uh, make an appearance here. Oh, you're still in the chat. That's right. Um, <laughs> but uh, really, these are just one shots. There's no like experience or ongoing progression or anything like that. So we'll just go around and let everybody introduce what character they're playing. We should have done when we did introductions. But uh, oh, go ahead. What are you playing? I'm playing the tech. He goes by Jerry, short for Jerry Rig, because he'll try to fix up or mess with whatever piece of tech he can get a hold of. Yeah. Fun. What are you playing? I'm playing Nomad. He's a racer, car driver, and uh, he, he he looks like uh, Steve McQueen from Bullet. So nice. Yeah. <laughs> Steve McQueen. We're gonna need a driver on this mission. Vance Vix. Hey, yeah, I'm Vance Fix. Uh, you need something? I'll 
I'll hook you up, man. It's just gonna cost you because I don't I don't go cheap. But uh, yeah, plan a fixer. Fixer. All right. Let's fix the fixer. I didn't actually notice that when picking the name. Yeah, that's uh, what I was thinking. I'm Vance stupid. Fix fix. <laughs> I don't think of things. <laughs> I thought yeah. you did that on purpose. No, not that smart. <laughs> Oops. Should and... never say that. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, I'm brilliant. So I'm the wittiest of them all. <laughs> no, you should never say that either. <laughs> <laughs> Another yeah. one. I went too, too yeah, just take the compliment. <laughs> that middle ground. <laughs> And last but not least, we have 40. Yeah, so I'm playing 40. She's a musician. Um, she has her guitar. That's her most prized possession. She somehow has a gun. Um, she's not, like, so much of a fighter character, but maybe she'll be handy. I don't know. <laughs> she's our rocker boy slash rocker girl. Yeah. That's my favorite class in the old <laughs> cyberpunk. I love rocker boys. You are leading the revolution with your music. Come on now. I you have like the important. highest, coolest, cool stat out of everybody. That's cool. You rock that cool. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, do we talk about what happened last time? I don't remember what happened last time. You guys blew up a boat. You stopped some, uh, I was going to, what are they? Last time we had to go get some, uh, information out of a safe. Yeah, was yeah. In, uh, was it a government building or yeah yeah it was a it was a um, consulate and then we had to go blow a boat up after that yeah which you guys did fantastically swimmingly ha <laughs> uh-huh. i meant to do that um yeah i just can't remember the the country the origin it was like wherever the big drunk country was in the 80s cuz that's when this that adventure was written that was the consulate uh Wherever Columbia? Escobar was. Pablo Escobar was. Colombia. There you go. The Colombian cartel. You had to stop them because they were going to bring drugs into the country. And you, you successfully stopped them because their plane was going to land that night. So we are going to pick up. You guys are going to find yourselves back at Forlorn Hope, the nightclub. Let's put some music on. The nightclub. <laughs> there we go. Remember that was the place you guys went to? It was a nightclub where you go get jobs. You had a little run in with the uh, the bouncer at the front door. I think it was Vance Vix, was it? Or no, it was yeah. Nora. Yeah, no, we we hired a uh, hemophiliac net runner who kept cutting herself on things. I don't know what her deal was, but yeah, she's bleeding all over the place. <laughs> That's right. But this time when you show up, it's a much different story. The bounce of the front door looks at you, still kind of grimaces at you, but uh, stands aside and lets you in. No problem, no questions asked. You guys have uh, built up a little bit of a re- reputation for yourselves at Forlorn Hope uh, after succeeding on that last job, and uh, your stock is rising. You're sitting there, music's playing, it's blasting, people are walking around, they're whispering to one another, you can tell jobs are being set up. Um, people are buying you drinks. You've gained a little bit of notoriety. You're no longer the outsiders. What was the name of your buddy that you met there? It was, um... Oh, what was his name? I we don't talk- remember. We were talking about something before the session. I used his name. Johnny Mnemonic. Is Johnny Moronic. Yeah, Johnny, Johnny Moronic. <laughs> Johnny Moronic. <laughs> because, I made, because I made the Johnny Mnemonic reference earlier. And That's right. You, Johnny Moronic is still sitting on the same <laughs> stool in the corner there. He sees you. He nods. He nods to you, Vance. Johnny! He's, the boy, what's up, dude? He doesn't really make eye contact; just kind of waves. Remember, he was. Hey. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what's up, Tom? What's up, Vance? Everything's, everything's chill, bro. Calm down. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 Vance. If you say so. Uh... How do we know? Um, are are we? F- do have we worked with forty before? Uh, yes. I'm gonna yes? say you okay. have. All of you probably also fans of her music too. At yeah, the same time. <laughs> so I think I gave forty like a notoriety of like a six or something like that. So you've been on, you're locally known. You've been on some news stories. You've been featured on TV. People kind of know who you are. Forty. That's like a stat in here is like your notoriety. So I gave okay. our, our rocker boy slash rocker girl in the first mission, a, 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 like a notoriety. So you're like a local celebrity in the area. So cool. people are kind of like in awe of forty as you walk in with them. You've not 
you know, really, I'm gonna say you've not run a job with them yet. But you've hooked up with this crew who's like making their way up. They just knocked off a job for Kronos taking down some uh, some cartel, and uh, you want in. You in in on this uh, this solo life, this soldier of fortune. You want to make some money in this grim, dark future. So people are also buying uh, yeah. new drinks, more drinks than anybody else. Yeah, I'm gonna us. I'm gonna basically find us the best table and pull pull a seat out for her and kind of act like a bit of a nervous Nelly when it comes to being around her because I've got all her albums, you know, and it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, let's, you know, we're gonna have a good night, I promise. If anybody bothers you, you let me know, all right? You got them all on I'll, your phone. I'll kick their asses. Yeah. You guys scan the roof. And you look to that one that one table in the corner where Kronos was sitting there and holding he was sitting there by himself last time and he called you over and they took you in the back room. He's sitting there. He looks up at the group of you, just kinda of nods. Doesn't come over, doesn't speak, just just friend a little nod. Um, but as you're sitting there, a uh, a woman makes her way over there. She's oh so in her like early thirties. She's got tech all over her like in her ears. And she's got some tech on her eyes, um, short black hair, very attractive looking. And she comes over and she introduces herself. She says, uh, hey, the name's uh, Marla. And you guys right away know that she is one of the, the higher um, people here looking for runners. She's even like uh, more prestigious than, than Kronos was. She goes, hey, can I, buy, can I buy the group of you a drink? Uh, Please. Listen, we... we, we... We, we just had about six drinks bought for us. I mean, we, we kind of have a plate full of drinks at this point. Um, if you want to get me some, like, uh, I don't know, cheesy fries, maybe? No, uh, that's fine. How about we get you a drink? Have a seat. And I just kind of give him a look like that. You don't know who this is? Hot real estate. Are there any rumors about what's going down that would involve her? Uh, there isn't. There's rumors that she might work for Militech, which is like one of the largest shadow organizations there is. Uh, and she's frequently hires runners to do jobs for them. Uh, so you guys are aware of her of her um, reputation. But yeah, you heard the lady Moz sticks. We can get some Moz sticks at the table. We can have a discussion. She just grabs one of the drinks that's sitting on the table that's been bought for you and she like, slugs over. it back. I'm, I'm, yeah. motion, I'm motion for any sort of way. Is there even food at this joint? <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's no food here. This is a bar. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just like some Give me some matzo sticks just, now. Lots, 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 lots. I'll have a bowl of olives. <laughs> yeah, I only since I'm going to be the driver, uh, I'm going to take one of those drinks and knock it back. i got to loosen up, you know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, i got to get ready for the, the driving later. Then I'm going to pull a chair out and scoot over to make room. I'm like, have a seat, please. Is there anything we can do for you? She, she nods to you. She goes, so, uh, I hear you guys, uh, are pretty quick. Kronos says you just pulled off a good one for him. Is that right? We do what we can. Pulled off's a bit of a loose term, but yeah, I mean, we got it done, mostly. All right, well, I can use a few reliable people. I got a, I got a real quick job lined up, uh, and it'll earn you a couple hundred apiece. It's just a couple hours worth of work. Perfect for, uh, you know, some folks on the mend, like you. What's the job? Well, I need, uh, I just need some protection. That's all I need. I got this big cow of a rig. I've got to deliver it uh, outside the city to, uh, to a uh, airstrip off the grid where we're going to load its contents up onto a plane and that's it. I'm up in the sky and I'm gone. I just need you guys to come with me. You ride shotgun in a car that I will provide. Make sure nothing happens along the way. And that's it. Uh, you need somebody to drive this rig of yours also. Oh, we got a good driver here. The best. That's yeah. Right. Yeah, definitely. I want the best driver behind the wheel of the rig. And then your second best driver can ride shotgun I, uh... in the car. I have my phone out, take a, uh, a uh, uh, Instagram picture, you know, or whatever they use now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a right. selfie. Yeah, yeah, it's just a, a cross-country shipment for Militech. 
and some stuff across the southwest, right? We're just going to go to an old uh, Air Force trans uh, airstrip. There's an aircraft waiting for us. That's that's all there is to it. Two hours away from here. Yeah, let's talk financials. So, uh, I'll, pay, I'll pay 200 each. 100 for, 100 for each hour. How does that sound? Uh, mm, it sounds yeah. all right. I mean, this stuff sounds like it's worth a lot more than that, though. Can we get a little bit, a little well, bit more? Well, what I'm curious about more than the money is uh, this sounds really easy. So, why do you need this kind of protection for just a couple hour drive? What are we looking at opposition wise? I'm not expecting any trouble. I'm hiring you guys as a contingency plan, a backup just in case. I've well, got the budget to hire some extra guns. That's why I'm coming to you. Because you're not expecting extra trouble, we'll do you 150 an hour instead of 200. Okay. <laughs> How's that sound? That sounds good. She's confused. I just turned my head and looked at him like. <laughs> no, she wanted to do us. She wanted to charge us a hundred, pay us a hundred an hour. So I'm gonna say a hundred and fifty an hour. She, she bumped up to two hundred. Yeah. Oh, she bumped up to two hundred. Well, then I'm gonna say two fifty instead. Sorry, I was just mistaken. <laughs> That's was like, why are you giving money away? No, yeah, I know. I'm trying to get more money out of her, not less. Uh, fifty in the other direction. <laughs> What do I got to so roll? So you want more money out of her? You just agreed to 150 each, and she offered you 200. She bumped Damn it, it up. I meant, I meant to say 250. <laughs> it's too late. I said, she agreed it's to 150. She was just like, okay, sounds good. Meet me outside. This is like that last deal. With no, the Bruce. last deal. I know, and I was trying to do better than that. You know? And you asked for way too little. Now I was trying to ask backwards. for more. Than, I know, I went backwards on accident, though. <laughs> My intention was to go forwards. <laughs> Whatever. My character's had face to over here do the talking. My Rule one, never change the drink. deal. You always change the deal. That's why I have this persuasion <laughs> score of four. <laughs> she goes, all right, I got a car waiting around back. Let's go. And I'll take you to the warehouse where the uh, where the rig is, and we'll go from there. It's those six drinks all those people bought for us on the way in. That's what caused it. Yeah, Johnny Moronic. You can give him some of your drinks. Yeah, I'll drop some off for old Moronic and um, and Kronos on the way out. Give him a nod. And uh, I'm going to open the, open the door for uh, old Superstar over here and just kind of disregard the rest of the crew because I'm just like fangirling over this That's rock right. star. Yeah. Look, I look over everyone. If anybody's got any excess weight, you know, because got to keep the car at the right. Uh... Right. It's got to maintain. <laughs> Throw speed. that jettison that shit out if you don't. <laughs> if you're leave, heavy. leave the heavy weapons behind. No. <laughs> I, I'm bringing these six clips with me. <laughs> I pull out a bring a napkin with me as we're outside. I, I pass Vance. I'm like, here, you got something on your nose. You might want to wipe that off. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys head outside the bar, and uh, around back is a, a white Ford Mazda Thunderbird 4 waiting for you. This thing is like top of the line, super expensive. It's decked out with all the bells and whistles. And she, uh, she gets in the driver's seat and she just motions for us. You get in, get in. I'll take you to the, to the warehouse and we'll go from there. <laughs> so she gets in and tears off down the street and not very far away uh, on the nearby waterfront. She uh, pulls up to some, uh, some warehouses and uh, there's well, some armed guards milling about outside the, the, the warehouse. And she just rolls down the window, and they acknowledge her, and she acknowledges them, and they obviously know each other, and she just nods. These guys are armed, outright armed. You can see that they're carrying guns. Uh, and the doors to the warehouse are are pulled open, big bay doors, pulled open, and uh, inside is a just a beast of a Peterbilt uh, transport truck. It's huge. It's got armor plating added on it, and it's uh, it's just massive. She... Uh, she looks to you, Nomad. And she goes, well, uh, I hear you're the wheel man. Is that correct? That's right. She tosses you the keys to the truck. All right. You're driving that one. So uh, where are we going? I need to upload the uh, maps and uh, get ready to plan our routes. Yeah, so she uh, she pulls out her uh, her deck and she gives you the coordinates to where you're headed. Like she I said, flip. it's a two-hour drive outside uh, outside of Night City. I flip it up so that the map is showing in a little hologram, 
and then starts swiping through it. All right, where are we going? She plugs She's got the, it. Plugs she it in. Gives you the coordinates, the latitude and longitude right. of where you're headed. It's off they the grid. The... It's like middle of nowhere. It's not in any I... city or town. All right, I look for any hazards or uh, other things around there so I can make sure to plan a good route. Yeah, for Let's sure. Put that back. Yeah, it's pretty remote. Once you get out of Night City, it's just side roads, dirt roads in the middle of nowhere, California. And where are you going to ride? She says, I'm riding in the car with you. Who's uh, who's your second best driver? Well, then I say you want somebody that's actually shotgun in that rig so he can drive and not worry about other yeah. things. She says, if you want. I'm not expecting any trouble, but if you want to go in there with him, you can. Better safe than sorry. All right. So you're going to go in there, Fury? Yeah, because I, I don't have driving. Me neither. 40, do you I, have driving? No, I don't have driving. I'm driven everywhere. Though. She sighs. She goes, go. oh, <laughs> all right, I'll drive. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's, this is what I hired. Okay. I, I, I I'm thought, just too damn drunk I all the time to drive, honestly. Kronos gave, sent me you guys highly recommended, but uh, apparently well, only one of you our can Our other driver's not here right now. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. So it's like... um. kids. It's like one in the morning at this point. You guys have been at the, the nightclub there for quite some time. But uh, you guys peel out in Night City. You hit the streets of Night City. You know, you make your way through the dense neighborhoods. You pass, you know, different through different turfs, different gangs. Uh, but nobody really knows what's being carried on here. This is an unmarked truck. You guys are barreling through at high speeds as fast as you can, especially in that big rig. Um, which isn't too, too fast in the city. But once you guys hit the highway, that's when uh, Marlo really picks up the pace and uh, instructs you to keep up as best as you can, Nomad. Um, um. It's your driving this thing, and it just handles terribly. Like, there must be a ton of weight in the back, whatever you're hauling. Now, is it just a standard trailer, or is there something connecting the cab to the trailer? Like, we go from the cab to the back? It's a standard trailer. Okay. So they're not connected. How much does this thing cost? You asking about her car? Oh, nice drive roll. Yeah. She goes. That's my drive roll. Got to gotta make sure I can keep up. Oh, yeah, definitely. With the 22, you keep up. Uh, she she says, more than you'll ever see. Yeah, probably so. Probably so. <laughs> what? This thing's nice. Well, there's, there's perks to being Militech. There's perks. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll recruit you, depending on how you do on this job. Yeah. How are the speakers in this thing, really? That's the important part. Can we <laughs> kick up some jams? or We got the keyboard there. A 40 and play us a tune. She turns on the I've radio. I've got my guitar. Right. <laughs> Keytar. Keytar. Turns on the radio Keytar. and turns up the tunes. I always just like obnoxiously dance like way too much to radio music. <laughs> like I'm in the 80s or something. You seat dance all the time. So after a couple hours of driving, it's uneventful. <laughs> it's uneventful, especially once you guys hit the highway. You don't see or hear any signs of anything. Uh, and within the wee hours of the morning, you guys make your way to uh, to the airstrip. This thing is massive. It's like thousands and thousands and thousands of feet long. But it's like covered in weeds. Like it hasn't been used forever. It's just... It's in disrepair, but it is completely off the grid. Uh, you see parked there at one end of this airstrip a massive, massive Hercules uh, airplane. Wow. Just sitting there waiting. As you're getting closer, you also see that there's a like a jet black firebird sitting there all decked out. It's got armor all over it and everything as well. And you see a guy leaning up against the car. He's got a shotgun in one hand. It's pro He's like slung it over his shoulder. He's decked out like leathers, like Mad Max leathers. And then closer, uh, and you see this guy's an African American uh, fella, and he's sitting there, and he just kind of just kind of nods as uh, Marlo pulls up in the car. And he goes, "Hey, what took you long enough?" She goes, "Yeah, yeah, only one of them could drive. Okay, Take, relax. All right, Eddie, relax. We're here, aren't we?" <laughs> so uh, she pulls over, and this guy saunters over, and she introduces him as uh, as Eddie. Hollywood Henderson and he's here to help uh, for the second leg of the trip and he kind of nods to the group of you and 
wanders over to you. No man says, oh, so you're the wheel man, huh? Yeah. Do I know anything about this uh, Henderson dude? Um, no, you wouldn't know anything about him, per se. He's a... Uh, no, you wouldn't. Not with that roll. You wouldn't. Uh, you wouldn't know anything about him. You guys can roll if you want for local expert. Fifteens all around. All right, jury. You've you've heard of him. He's a he's a he's another freelancer like you guys. Takes on jobs. He's a little bit more big time than uh, Forlorn Hope. This guy's this guy's expensive, but he's got a good reputation to him. Just give him a good nod. Hey, nods back. He goes, all right, well, let's get this, this damn thing loaded on the on the plane and get the hell out of here. We've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Now, are we coming the plane or is, was this our drop and we're done? She says, this is it. Help me, help me. Uh, Let's get everything. Let's get the cargo loaded on the plane and then you guys are done. That's all I needed from you. Just a couple hours. <laughs> all right, I got my... Uh... Uh... My, my rippers on the ready and uh, get get everything uh, started. Be uh, perceptive to see if anybody's going to take this uh, airstrip that was so out of the way. Well, oh, this is a Hercules. He should be able to back this trailer up into that pretty much. <laughs> yeah, right. It's huge. Um, yeah, I'll, I'm going to get out and just watch the perimeter. Yeah. Watch the perimeter. Yeah, if you guys do want, I, um, you can. Do I need to drive it up in there? Is that no, the so they're actually going to unload it, uh, despite right. it being a Hercules. This thing's really, really heavy, so it would uh, it would weigh quite a bit. You guys can all make me perception if you want, as you kind of scope out and look at the area and take. Holy crap! A thirty. Nice. Your roll exploded. Wow, forty got a twenty-six. Twenty-six. Sorry, I accidentally had human perception first. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it looks like my perception. I don't know. So you're, I'm you're, human, right? <laughs> you're scoping out the area, and it's just like flat and desolate. There is nothing out here. You hear um, Marlo get on the uh, comms, and you she wires to the uh, to the uh, pilots. All right, fire it up. We're gonna we're gonna load this thing up. We're gonna get out of here as fast as possible. So the turbines, the jet engines start powering up on the uh, on the plane as she gives the order, and suddenly. There's a loud boom, and an explosion sets off on the plane. Now we gotta drive it all the way. <laughs> she, uh, Marley's like, what run. the hell? She jumps to the ground. What's Hollywood, the move, boss? He, he dives behind his car. What the hell's going on? Nobody's supposed to know that we're here. I check the skies. Clearly they fucking do. <laughs> what are we? What are we doing? What are we doing? Well, I don't know. Do I know if this was a mechanical malfunction, or was it a little uh, surface air missile? <laughs> uh, you can make me an awareness or notice check. Go ahead, and you can see how or where it originated from. Uh, which I'm one is notice? Guitar, by the way. Uh, let me see. This is. I'm reading the skills from the old uh, book, so let's see what it is in the new game. I guess it would be perception in this. All right. Yeah, that's good. That notice row or perception. Ooh, 32. Look 32. It originated from inside the plane. Uh, yeah, right. Okay, that, that's from inside. Either this was sabotage or something mechanical went bad. I'll check it. Cargo is probably rigged. Well, the, the yeah, the, the plane's on fire. And she goes, what? Marlo goes, what? Inside the plane is where that came yeah. from? Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we've we been checking really? the perimeter. Nothing's, nothing approached. She mutters under her breath. Oh my god! Listen, we're we're running grab, late. I'm grabbing extinguishers and shit, trying to get this put out. She says we're running late. I we were supposed to be in the air. Someone knows yeah. that. We're, someone knows what's going on here. They were gonna blow us out of the sky. That was well, let's go this was a mechanical it. malfunction. That shit happens. No. Yeah. Uh, what are we it's gonna do? It's a good do thing you were driving, though, so we were slower. Talking about it. We should have been over Arizona right now. This isn't good. Someone, someone's on to us. I think you're being a bit paranoid. Let's check this out. And I'm trying to get extinguishers to put this out. Yeah. Is there anything, anything that we can do to help with that? Get the extinguishers out of Unfortunately, there. Unfortunately, it is burning way too hot. And there's no extinguishers to even get close. This thing is like a wreckage, smoldering wreckage. 
Okay. Is the cargo available to get out of there, or did the the cargo is never it got off the destroyed? truck? This is when she was told she told the uh, pilots to fire up the engines, and they were getting ready to start loading. So the the cargo is still in the uh, in the the truck. You're gonna need to move that truck away from this plane. Check this cargo. What what was it when we were when we had the trunk open and we're getting things ready to move out of it? Well, it's sealed crates right now. All right. No no labor. Unmarked. She says. uh... So, uh, you want to make a little extra cash? Uh, yeah. Oh, what's the deal? <laughs> Alright, well, this, this shipment is supposed to make its way to El Paso. I'll pay you a thousand euro bucks each, and I'll ensure that you get flown back to Night City when this is done. Where, where, what city are we in? I'm not city, but state. You're in California. Night City's in California. So that's okay. a thousand a day each. No, a thousand each. Not a thousand a day. A thousand each. On top of the two hundred I paid you for this Lego. That... Uh, I stay in uh, hotels that cost more than a thousand dollars. Come on. Yeah, th a thousand is really light considering we might get blown the fuck up, lady. See, that's Come a, on. It's a thousand miles from fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred each. And it's a, about a fifteen-hour drive. So. Do you want to yeah. Make a do you want to make a persuasion roll to try and get some more money out of her? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. I'm too drunk. I'm fifteen hundred each, lady. Yeah, you 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 lowballed her last time. She's expecting you <laughs> to go low. I I did a save on that perception Ooh, or that. Uh, uh, say, hey, I'm the one driving. No, no, that's a that persuasion. I hit the wrong one. My cool's pretty low. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, perception was high, drunk. but not persuasion. Was now, high. is there? I can't remember. Is there like a a help or? Like There's luck. You to... have your luck, and you can spend luck to re-roll. You have a set amount of uh, luck. And, and we spend one you luck to re-roll. Yeah, you can spend one luck. Do you want to re roll luck for this? I didn't know if we had one to just consider everybody. Well, let me try my score now. It's like, is there a way to like kind of give someone advantage on the roll or anything like that to assist? Not really in this situation. We're not gonna do any helping on this. I... Well, I through. normally in a one shot would not really care about getting a little extra money, but the, uh, so far all these one shots have been connected. So I they have. Our, You're not wrong. Should our influential person be doing the talking here? Who's that, our influential well, I was person? Forty. Well, yeah, yeah it's I think it's forty. The star. It's like wow. it's pretty good with crowds and people. Like, yeah, I play shows and get paid a lot more than that. Was what I was going to say earlier. Your your persuasion is very high. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Um. What would I roll? Persuasion. So you just click the button next to uh, persuasion. Uh, sorry, I just didn't see it for a second. Oh, you rolled a natural one, so it was a critical failure. God. And still got a seventeen. And still got a seventeen. <laughs> yeah, because it's tied to your cool, I think, and your cool is like. The oh, okay. Category. Yeah, it's nine. Yeah. She goes, well, she's mega. She says, no, no, no. Persuasive. Twelve, twelve, twelve hundred is enough. That's a lot of money. Wow. Okay. All right. Whatever. I'll just get paid more for my other talents, I suppose. <laughs> well, I won't. I don't want. This is going to be a long drive. Let's hit the road. Yep. So, uh, where's the coordinates and, uh, uh, you know, that sort of stuff? She uh, walks over and she starts plugging the coordinates to you. Uh, it's pretty off the beaten path. Like, they're avoiding a lot of. Uh, attention with the road that they've uh, set up and she uh, she says so i'm gonna need one driver again in the truck and one in the car hollywood is coming with us for this leg of it so someone could ride with him as well ride shotgun whichever yeah. vehicle you want i, I call it my, hollywood's my boy i just love his name <laughs> right then i'll ride shotgun in the truck still but we need to get out of here before daylight like i said someone knows that we're here well Let's quit talking and get back in my vehicle. And, and as far as they know, I'm dead in the sky. She goes, uh, she also says, okay, it's also time to tell you what we're transporting. This might be a little dangerous, so I think it's, I can share this with you. She goes to one of the crates and she cracks it open and it's just full of guns. They we're transporting arms for Militech. Yeah, I kind of thought we were anyway, to be honest. I didn't really want to ask any questions or whatever, but uh, that's cool. Are sure. these like advanced? Are they standard guns? Is some advanced new thing or what? They're standard guns, but she also offers you. She says, "Hey, get ready." Do we have a Take net runner that can? Uh, no. Uh, no. That could. 
We nope. don't have a nut runner. Nope, no nope, nut runner. She's not here not tonight. She says, um, "Take what you need. This is going to be a dangerous journey." Yeah, I'll go right. whatever. So, grenades. any of the uh, any of the guns are available to you. Very heavy pistols, heavy pistols, very heavy right or assault rifles, shotguns are all available to you guys. Is there like a small mini gun I can mount on the side of the truck? There is not a yeah. mini gun. There are rockets and there's rifles. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take a very rifle. heavy pistol and some extra uh, ammo. Okay. You say there were shotguns? There are shotguns. Yeah. I want one of those. Shotgun. Yeah. Somebody at our party has a shotgun. And it's pretty like weird. a very heavy shotgun, or is it just called a shotgun? It's called a shotgun, and it does five to six damage if you're setting it up. Okay. Okay, there thank are, you. There's a, it was already there, one on my character sheet. There's missile launchers. Those do 70 10 damage if somebody wants to grab oh, a missile crap. launcher or two. Might as well carry the truck just in case. Uh, uh, assault rifles are 5d6 damage. Each car should have a missile launcher. And there's even uh, C9 explosive packs, which are 8 8d10 damage each. So she says. Equip yourselves. Get ready. Who knows what we're going to run into on the highways? There's nomads and bandits and all sorts of trouble along the way with whatever's whatever's tried to blow me up. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to get some uh, at least one of the grenade launchers, an assault rifle, and some of the explosives. Yeah, I got two. I got three pieces of explosives and an assault rifle myself. If that's okay. Yep, that works. What was the assault rifle, rifle again? The assault rifle, I think it was 5d6. 5D6. And it has an automatic fire um, ability. It's time to hit the road. This is going to be a uh, convoy. Convoy to El Paso. <laughs> We're the highwaymen. The highwaymen, yes. <laughs> so you guys head out. Like I said, it's the early hours of the morning. You head out. You're already outside Night City. Next, uh, your next stop is going to be uh, Arizona. Um, is it just weapons, or do they have armor in there too? It's just weapons. Dang. So you guys take off, uh, and as you're driving, Marlo gets on the radio and she tells you a little bit about uh, about the route and what to expect. Uh, she lets you know that uh, she's destined uh, for nomad troops on the border of Texas and Mexico, where the uh, the war is heating up, and Militech is covertly supplying the nomads with weapons that the government won't supply. But uh, no one is in the clear, so this is hush hush. We don't we don't share this information. We just deliver the goods and we get the hell out of there. I think my name should be changed. To what? Uh, Frank or Why? Frankie Frankie because that's uh, that my, my grandfather was Frank Bullet oh <laughs> she says I got a good route laid out for us it's a couple of hours south of I-10 but uh, those stretches should be pretty clear and then it's straight south from uh, California to El Paso what I've got charted out but keep us off the main highways it's a rough route it's lawless, but uh, we'll do much worse on the main highways. We need to keep all eyes off of us. All right. So, uh, what's our cover plan if if we get stopped by some by some people that uh, that look like they could, you know, really do some damage if we don't cooperate with them? You know what I mean? Like some like if we have to pay a toll or something like uh, what we we want to kind of have the same cover story. What what are we transporting? Like. I don't know, uh, medical supplies or something? Transporting booze. Booze? All right. That sounds good to me. We're rum runners. Yeah, and the and the crates have to remain sealed, otherwise it'll spoil the brew, because so it's you... still fermenting. I like the way you think, Vance. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm just, you know, if we get stopped by, like, 100 guys with missile launchers, you know, we might need to listen to them and pay their toll or something, you know. I just want to make sure we're all on the same page or whatever, you know. Right, right. I like the way you think. So we're going to drive through paranoid. the whole day, and we're going to rest up in Tucson, all right? There's going to be uh, a detour around Phoenix, because we don't want to get any, draw any attention ourselves. 
Then we're going to refuel. There's going to be two stops for us to refuel. Indio, which is close to uh, corporate-owned Palm Springs. I'm not expecting any trouble there. It's pretty posh. And the next will be uh, Tonopa, Arizona. And that's middle of nowhere. That's not even a blip on the map. So we should be safe. Any questions? <laughs> uh, not at all. What was the second stop? Tonopa. Alright. So I guess we're heading to Indio. Alright, so she... She takes the lead. She goes in front of the truck. And Hollywood is in the rear. So the, the truck is sandwiched between the two of you. So there's eyes in the front and eyes in the back. Who's riding? I'm riding. Your... Vance, I'm you're riding with, with Hollywood. Hollywood. And Nomad, you were driving the truck. Yeah. I'm shotgun with Nomad. Shotgun with Nomad? And yeah, so 40 more like rocket you're riding launcher. with Marlo? <laughs> sure. <launcher. laughs> Wherever I can fit my guitar, because I brought it with me for some reason. <laughs> you have to have it. You're rock boy. This, yeah, I know. Alpha, this is where you were using the Cyberpunk Red Rules, which is only has the Jumpstart Guide so far in, on Drive Through RPG. Uh, but we're playing an old Cyberpunk 2020 mission, so that's that's where we got this from. We're playing an old mission from the old rule set using the new rules. The new rules are actually really similar to the old ones. All right, so you guys hit the highway. You're dead tired. You, you're begging for coffee, but Marlo says no, no. We got to keep going. There's no stopping. First stop is to refu refuel in Indio. Um, so you guys make it there uneventful. The, the highway is pretty busy, but there's a lot of like like people driving on the highway who'd always be there. Like it's not nothing unusual. You guys are keeping your eyes peeled. Uh, you fuel up in uh, just uh, outside of Palm Springs there. And uh, you head for the, uh, the, the second stretch, the second leg. You guys cross the Arizona border. It is also uneventful. And uh, traffic on the interstate starts to dwindle as you uh, as you make your way off of the uh, the main highway and onto I-10. So first of all, just make sure that uh, um, we don't notice any unusual traffic, like uh, people following or uh, 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 cops that don't look like cops, things like that. Okay. Yeah, you guys can you can make perception if you want checks. We're using a lot of perception today, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm like, I don't see nothing. I, I don't know of a tabletop RPG that doesn't use a lot of perception. If I know, honest. right? It's like the default go-to for... I mean, for... you have to look for stuff, right? <laughs> like, generally, regardless of the genre. <laughs> Yeah, I like the passive perception, and uh, the DM can just roll whatever they, yeah, whatever right? they think we need it. <laughs> yeah. uh, all of you guys, especially Vance, you are on high alert, and you don't see anything unusual as uh, you make your way through there. Jumpstart drive through RPG. Yay. Hey. Yeah, it's from uh, Tales of Forlorn Hope. Go figure. We got our job, all of our jobs in Forlorn Hope. An uh, awesome, awesome module. Yeah, it's a really good book. Uh, all right, so you guys head on down the highway. You continue on into Arizona, uneventful. You guys don't see any signs of anything. Uh, Marlo chatters on the uh, on the radios back and forth or over your comms. That this is written when there's radios. They're probably using like CBs when this was written. Uh, but you guys all have devices on you now. Uh, she chatters back and forth that uh, whoever made the attack, you know, they're they're not going to be far behind. They're gonna they're gonna find that. The plane never took off because they're going to look for the wreckage. And they're going to see that uh, the cargo wasn't on there. So we, we need to make as hasty a trip as possible. Definitely. When I send my selfie today, I, uh, I, I spoof the location so that it looks like I'm uh, still at Night City. Nice. Okay. Some old pictures that you had on your phone. No, no. What way? Well, one, but, but, but one that I've never sent before. You know. Ah, okay. Maybe the over-the-camera uh, shot here. Yeah, the... <laughs> so I too, I too like taking selfies. <laughs> You're taking selfies. I in have, yeah. I have like <laughs> the most popular uh, feature Instagram account ever, probably. I yeah. Mean, oh, that's true. You got whatever a lot of followers. the future of Instagram is. 
Insta book. Oh, we said that earlier. Someone did. That's what I've decided. Future Graham. Okay. Future Graham. <laughs> Insta yeah. book. So you guys continue on and you make your way to the second fueling stop, Tanopa. You guys pull into Tanopa. It's a little nothing dust town. There is not much here. There's a few houses. There's not much commercial available uh, space, but there is a gas station. You guys pull over to the gas station. You start refueling your trucks, your cars. As you're doing yeah. so... A High group alert, because... <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you notice like a group of like 10 townspeople, all armed, starting to make their way over. And they, they, they look a little disgruntled. About us? Oh, well, great. Just the, you, you, well, yeah. So the group uh, makes their way over, and they're standing there. They're standing there while you guys are fueling up. And one man steps forward. He's an older man. He's got a long white beard. And he's got a sawed-off shotgun in his hand. And he uh, he calls out, "What do you What do you want? What are you doing here?" Getting gas. We don't want nothing uh, other than getting some gas and getting out of here. We're heading out right away. You're pretty far off the main highway. Not many, uh, not many take I-10 these days. Hey, we're just hey. passing through. No, we're going to a much more interesting town. Do you know who I mean, this is? Would y'all like an autograph? Do you know who this is? This is 40. I'm like on my phone. Yeah, she's trying to get to her, the next show. So what I'm going to... So what do you want to do, 40? I'm gonna, there's a mechanic in this. That's called reputation. And this is like specifically for someone like you. So I said you had a reputation of a seven. And the way it works is you roll okay. a D10. You okay. add your cool and you add your reputation to your result. And this is All like right. you kind of like using your, I don't know, your your persona to woo She's them. She starts with a 16. Like, do you want That's to pull awesome. out a guitar and start playing? Like, what does this look like? Well, what do you want to do? And yeah, you can you can try to win oh, them over man. using your reputation. Okay, yeah. Um, so I went for like a lull in the conversation, and I just say, I've been working on this new song. Um, just maybe you'll enjoy it. And I start playing, and hopefully it mesmerizes. I don't know. <laughs> So should I just roll a d10 and then add? Yeah, the then, and then we'll add those because I don't have it plugged into the character sheet. For and you. it was um, cool so plus your reputation. Cool. Your reputation I think is seven in. Okay. And like uh, yeah. What like genre? Frank, uh, like you Frank points it out. You, you, you start with a sixteen, so you roll a d10 and okay. add sixteen to it. Okay. Oh, awesome. Is it rolling a d10 or just rolling? It's a slash D10. roll. Aha! I did it. Oh god! Ooh, a critical <laughs> failure. Jesus. So you roll another d10 on a critical failure, and you subtract Ooh. that from the total. Could you use the luck? You could use the luck to reroll. I'll let you use the luck. Roll the luck. Can we do that on a, a critical? You're like, uh, oh, that was out of two. Let me get that. Yeah, and tweak I was gonna it. say, I was gonna say like a string breaks, and you're just like, bang. <laughs> and they're gonna like, no. Are you allowed to reroll critical failure? This sounds so much better yeah. in the studio. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you want to use the luck uh, to re-roll? Yeah. And we just get one luck per session? No, no, you, session. Have, you have a pool of luck on your character sheet. Oh, Whatever yeah, I've got six is, luck. You get okay. that many luck. Yeah, I'll use a luck. This is a one uh, shot. It okay. doesn't say that you uh, can't use a again. luck to re-roll a critical failure. Are you kidding me? Hey, but at least you I got, got a, a, a You should <laughs> think of a failure. <laughs> and if you roll a d10, then you get to roll another d10 and add it on there. But it doesn't keep yeah. it. Sorry, uh, you just get the one re-roll. Uh, so, um, all right, so you pull out your guitar. You plug in. Do you have like a? Do you have like an amp that's like augmented into you, and you plug it into the amp? Um, it's probably I would body say that wear. I have a acoustic type oh, of guitar that's like some kind of futuristic looking. Uh, maybe it's got like a built-in speaker. I don't know what what's even possible. Wearable but I guess speakers. It's self-contained though. Okay. Ooh, wearable speakers would be cool. Um, yeah, I think it's just like a self-contained kind of system, and it looks like kind of like a um what is it those steel guitars that yep. have like the big you know metal circle in the middle kind of yep. like one of those all right you start you start playing you start playing your latest hit and yeah, um emotional. <laughs> as you do so you see you see one of the one of the people in the crowd one of the younger one of the younger kids he uh, he steps forward he's like hey, hey, hey this is 40 
this like this is for, where, where are you where, where are you going are you on tour um i well that's kind of complicated i'm technically on a hiatus it's it's a long story but i'm sort of touring with these guys i just met it's um kind of a class get new material thing. you know new material i'm trying to you know feel out the world and come up with some new inspiration yes exactly so he steps forward he kind of like push pushes the gun down from the old guy who stepped forward who had the shotgun he's like hey listen listen 40 i there's 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 nomads hostile nomads raiding this area you gotta be careful all right you shouldn't you shouldn't yeah. be out here yeah this that's why, uh we're on edge i'm trying to live like in real danger you know like i've never really experienced that so i i don't i don't know i just i think it's gonna be the best for the future of my music right, well, she's in real time if you know what i mean well these these uh, yeah but these nomads they've cut everything off we don't have anything you gotta be uh, you oh, turn around and go back really go back to the main interstate now that's really sad um yeah i'm i'm just i'm following with them i'm not really sure where that path will take me so uh with that information i, I look and see if there's any uh, uh uh alternate routes that we might be able to uh uh slip out of town in a different way yeah no you you double check your um your gps and it looks like like what marlo had programmed in this is like the most direct and off the grid Path. Right, but uh, you know any, uh, is there any path? side road? There are side roads that you could take. It yeah, will that's what I'm saying. Journey. Do y'all have any old dirt roads or anything that maybe aren't covered? Yeah, the kids. So goes, we can slip out of town. The kid says, like, the, the nomads are everywhere. They drive dirt bikes. They got buggies. They're relentless. They're well armed. They they don't give up. They patrol this whole area. Why do you think there's nothing here anymore? They're not letting anything in or out. I'm surprised you guys even made it here. Yeah, we didn't see anything on the way in. Maybe it was a trap. Or maybe maybe we slipped on. in while the guards were gone on a break. <laughs> well, we it's been lovely chatting with y'all, but uh, we need to get on the road. Yeah, Marlo steps forward and get out of here. And agrees. She goes, "Why are we? Why are we wasting our time? We're fueled up. Let's go. Leave these hicks behind. Let's go." There's, we there's see no... them. We'll take care of them for you. There, there's yeah. no. No, we won't. She says, no, no, we have a job to do. Let's get they, back on the road. Whoever... I, I kind of whisper to her. I'm like, they don't know we're not going to do it. <laughs> so uh, I, I pull up some old Google Maps of this area and see if I can find any old roads. <laughs> yeah, there's crisscrossed roads. Um, there are ones that run parallel to the to I-10 that you're on. Uh, Keep them in mind in case we need them. Yeah. You share them with Marlo, and she goes, oh, "We don't, we don't need them." You guys, you guys, you're armed, aren't you? You grab stuff out of the truck. You bet. Okay, we'll be fine. Oh yeah. <laughs> we'll never safe and sorry. We'll be Let's fine. Go. All right, so you guys pile back in your cars. The big rig lurches forward and heads back off, and that kid's waving. I didn't even get her autograph. <laughs> As the cars rip out I blow down. a kiss into the air. <laughs> it's just like, oh, <laughs> <party."> <laughs> I'm just, I'm now my character's jealous because he's never gotten a kiss blown to him. And, and you know, they work together. So but you're hanging out with Hollywood. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Eddie Hollywood oh, Anderson. pretty cool. He's pretty cool. <laughs> he's a pretty cool guy. All right, so you guys continue on down the highway. Do you want to go ahead and make me some checks, some perception checks to kind of watch the roads for any signs of danger? Ooh, jury. I, I, my character's too busy uh, messing just, around with his phone. On his phone, chatting with Hollywood. Look at Frank Man. Bullet. All right, so you guys are continuing on down I-10, and you're making good time. Uh, you're heading, uh, heading down the highway, and... Um, you know, the next time you need to turn off is onto Route 85. And that's what's then going to get you to Tucson, uh, where you're most likely going to head over for the night. Uh, and as you're heading down the highway, it's been uneventful. It's quiet. Nothing's really happened. But as you're about to reach the turn off for Route 85, you can see dust being kicked up on either side of you guys, either side of the highway. 
All right. We got company, guys. So it gets bigger and bigger and closer and closer. And you guys are able to catch sight of motorcycles and buggies and loaded with uh, nomads, road raiders. And they've got, like, spears and chains and guns. And they're making their way towards you. If I didn't need to do any evasive maneuvers or uh, other stuff, I'm ready. All right. Well, we just might have to because these guys are my driving roll. These guys are making their way to you. Let's, are we in uh, a chase chase sequence now? Oh, we're gonna do more than a chase. These guys are gonna try and take you down. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I, I casually fire. as they're closing in, I casually roll down my window and extend the rocket launcher. <laughs> yeah. Here, let me switch over the. I've got another scene on the overlay so people can see the map. There we go. The map, the rolls now. All right, so you guys are barreling down the highway. We've got Hollywood's car is the black one. Marlowe's is the white one. We've got our rig there. And these guys are burning up and tearing up behind you and closing the gap fast. So what I'm going to do is Hollywood's car, Marlowe's car. Oh, the truck is on. Let's move the truck. Depending on what vehicle you're in, is what I'm going to put you on turn order as. Because you're all in different vehicles, are you not? No. And then the Raiders will just be a buggy. So, let's go ahead and roll for initiative. Oh, Jerry. Jerry, you were in the big rig, though, weren't you? Yes. Oh, right, right, right. Un momento, por favor. I'll throw you down on the map. I have a token from you when you played that one game. I'll add you just for initiative purposes. Whoa, you're huge! <laughs> what? Well, let's shrink you down, just kind of put you... To Put you to the side. Um, you're in a car with Hollywood, right, uh, Vance? So you're good. You can just use his car as an initiative token. And 40, you're in the car with Marlo, right? Yeah, which yeah. car is this? Uh, his is the, the black one. That's. That is right, Vance's. Can we control over it? Yeah. Good call. Vance Fix, you have control of that token. I will give 40 control of the other one. The truck is just kind of going to stay. It's always it's going to be traveling down the highway, so I'm not going to real we're not going to really move that one around. I got a 20 on my initiative. 20? Yeah. Look at you. I go. can't edit it. No, you cannot. I've revoked your access. Uh, 40, what did you get? 18? And time for my Nomad Raiders. Yes, sorry. It's okay. It's all good. Uh, roll initiative. 14. Okay, so. We're going to have, well, one person is driving. And we've got people shooting. So, Jury, you're up first. You're up in the big rig, and you see dust kicking up, and you see these motorcycles and buggies closing in behind you. You've got uh, you've got Vance and Marlo on either side of you in their cars. Looks like they're trying to run interference and stop the uh, the bikes and the buggies from coming up the road. Oh, Jeff's here. Hey, Jeff. We do need you. We need your we need your solo yeah. over there. I know, right? We need your heavy. All right, so jury, no one's really close. Well, you have what? A shotgun? What did you all grab? Uh, you have cart. You had carte blanche to grab whatever you wanted. I grabbed a shotgun, Shot but it? I already had a very heavy pistol. Oh. Also, I think we grabbed uh, missile launchers and ro assault rifles, didn't we? Yep. Did Did yeah, everybody? Oh, and somebody grabbed a grenade launcher. Well, yeah. I, it's the missile launcher. I got three C9. An, an RPG. So yeah, I got the grenade launcher or missile launcher with extra ammo. I've got some explosives. 
and a couple of assault rifles for us. I figure you need to concentrate on the driving, but there's an extra gun if you need it. Yep. Okay. If they come up on my side, I'll I'll shoot. They're also smaller than you. They are. They are smaller than you. Okay. I can do evasion right into them. So, is there anything you want to do, jury? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to lean out the window and uh, shoot the lead, or shoot at the lead vehicle. <laughs> Try to blow it up, maybe knock it into some others. So, like, there's, you can see the motorcycle. You're in the passenger seat, so you can see a motorcycle, and you can see one of these buggies back here. Yeah, I'm going to shoot at the motorcycle, and hopefully he'll wreck into the buggy. Hey, Jeff from the Lollygaggers. Thanks for uh, subscribing, buddy. I appreciate it. We've been chatting back and forth this week. So thanks for dropping in and subscribing. Okay, you're going to lean out the window and shoot it. So, this is going to be difficult, because you're moving. You're all moving. So the difficulty is going to be high. What are you trying to shoot it with? A rocket launcher. Woo! Okay. If there's minuses on that, then I miss because it's there, 0 to 12, or 0 to 50 is 15. There are going to be minuses, and you have uh, Hollywood's car right outside of you as well. So you really don't want to like, a really critical that, miss. Then. So, yeah, the range is going to be like 26 to 50 meters, and it's going to be, it's going to be higher difficulty than a 15. So what? So I'm gonna spend a luck and reroll. Okay. It just sucks. My marksmanship isn't that high. <laughs> One better. So you poke your head out the window and you put the rocket launch on your shoulder and <laughs> let loose this rocket and it <laughs> zooms past Hollywood. He veers to the left, gets out of the way of it. Though it goes right past one of the motorcyclists and the uh, the buggy sees it coming and he veers out of the way. And it goes right by and all of a sudden there's an explosion on the back of the, the road as everybody charges on. They know we're serious. Some fight music. There we go. <laughs> there we go. A little bit more upbeat. We got a car chase going on. Alright, 40. You're up. So you got these motorcycles closing in behind you. You watched a rocket just miss its mark and zip past on the other side of the the trailer. Right. Um. If I want to shoot out of the window, would I roll just the die next to my gun, or would I roll mark marksmanship? You would roll marksmanship. I think the yeah, die, the next, die to the next to the gun is the damage. Yes. Oh, okay. You so you would roll damage first. if you hit. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I'm actually shooting with my shotgun out of the open window. So the range on the shotgun is really short. That's something to keep in mind in that Shit. reference sheet I, I sent That's you. That's a good point. There's range bands in this, and it, it, it gives you actually, it shows you the difficulty. I'm going to add to the difficulty because they're moving, okay. but you know at least the base difficulty okay. of the roll you need to do. So, like a shotgun for 26 to 50 meters. Well, I guess you're going to do a, a bike behind you. We'll say it's 13, 25 yeah. meters. You, okay. That right there is difficulty 20. So you need to roll 20 or higher, plus I'm going to make it more difficult because you're moving. Right, okay. I'll, I'll post a picture of that in the uh, Discord for the range uh, band. Okay. Nano wire carbon fire between the white car and the black car and cut the semi in half, height wise. No? Yeah. Are you giving me ideas? You want me to tell me I should cut the semi in half? All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Alpha. I will say that um, Marlo is acting on your turn as well. So if you want to tell her to move the car, like pull back or get closer, you have control of the token, so you can move her back. Like if you want to get like next to these guys, I'll yeah, make a driving yeah. roll for her sort of thing. And uh, Maybe she slams on the brakes yeah, while they're still driving. Yeah, that would okay. be cool. Move cool the token visuals. to where you want it. Okay. Right there. So that way I can just shoot out of the passenger side at her them so she gets back there and she gets you right next to them and she's matching speed this guy's trying to speed up speed down and she's just keeping pace with him she nailed her her driving roll so she's nice. just on this guy and he's looking over you and he's like leveling a pistol but he's like also watching the road he's hitting a bump here and there and he's not really getting a good look or a good uh good aim and you're like dead to rights so you're within the uh the zero to twelve so you know you've got a di at least the difficulty of 15, which is still not great. It's still hard. Yeah. Um, actually, I'll say it's 15 because she she aced her her driving roll. 
there is no there are no um further negatives or di uh, numbers to the difficulty so you have to hit a 15 and you can blast this guy point blank with a shotgun okay so i'll just re-roll that then okay okay oh you you're ah. an 18 already oh yeah i did i okay. thought we were rolling again i don't know why <laughs> okay so she gets next next to him you level okay. your shotgun Bam! And you unload buckshot into this guy point blank. Go ahead and roll me 5d6 damage. Alright. I think that's what it is for shotgun, is it not? Oh, shit. Yes, oh. it's 5d6. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Man, 40's a badass. So you level up, get next to him, bam, unload, and uh, you hit him and the, uh, and the bike, and it starts to veer here and there, and uh, it falls back, and the, he wipes out on the side Death of the road. Death is her muse. <laughs> yeah. She's getting that real life experience, you know. What are the chances that the others ran over him and damaged themselves? <laughs> he, he, he fell off the road. No, that didn't happen. That was a good roll. Damn it. 20 damage. That's huge in this game. Wow. The the others who play this can, can attest. That's massive damage. <laughs> Death is my music next album title. Um, all right, so that takes us to the bad guys. I'm gonna make some rolls here because they're gonna try and do the same thing to you guys. Uh, the first one. Ooh, nice. This one's gonna try and get up. Actually, this one's going up here. This one's gonna get behind you. Oh, I'm rolling really good. Oh, not that one. <laughs> okay. This one's going to get up next to Vance. And this one's going to get right here. So, they all get closer with that. Uh, the buggy that is on the side of the semi-truck, it looks like there's a couple guys trying to jump out onto the truck. They've got chains and they got like spears and stuff. And they're jumping out trying to hook onto the truck. Oh, Mad Max style. So hmm. two guys jump out and they start climbing and clawing. I don't. I just grab whatever token. They're walking on top of the trailer. Is a uh, thirteen yet? Uh, nope, not yet. So the motorcycle that's on the uh, side of Vance, he's gonna try and shoot Vance. The the passenger, he levels a very. A very heavy pistol, and he's gonna try and shoot into your your car, Vance. Whoa, bro! Whoa, 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 whoa! Actually, why am I rolling that? I have a character sheet for these guys. Let's do the character sheet. Not yeah, why are you rolling it? Ho, oh, hey, oh! All right, eighteen. No. So he levels the gun and he this fires is... into the car, <laughs> and he's gonna hit Hollywood because he's on the driver's side. No, Hollywood! A boy. <laughs> so the way the way damage works in this for our new players is firearm damage. What you do is you take whatever your armor is, you minus that off the damage, and the remainder goes through to you to your hit points, and you then take one point off of your armor, like you subtract one point. So it slowly degrades every time it, you get shot and take a hit. So his armor actually eats a good chunk of this. Wow. Um, is it added together like head is and it body armor? Oh, I, I rolled marksmanship. I haven't rolled damage. <laughs> Never mind. I haven't rolled damage yet. Does the car have armor? The car does have armor. But I rolled a 15 for damage. Um, okay. So the guy leans out and puts his hand, his arm out the window with a big, very heavy pistol and fires into your car, Vance. And you, you just one of the windows just shatters and it grazes uh, Hollywood and he veers like what the hell? Oh, be careful, bro! I'm gonna <laughs> kill these bastards. The bike behind uh, Marlo's car, the one with forty, is he's got a pistol, but he's got a way harder time to try and hit you guys because he's on a motorcycle and he's one-handed, and uh, he's gonna try and shoot you guys through the back window. Let's see what that ha if that happens. Nope. He fires and it goes wide. And this other buggy's just getting up behind the semi-truck. So now it is 13. Now it is 
Frank Bullet the Third's turn. <laughs> and do I need to uh, do an invasion roll, or would this be a drive roll to try I would make and? I uh, a drive roll. So depending on like, what you okay. want to do and, and. So my idea is to uh, um, do a, a quick, almost a, a a really fast, you know, turn and then a, a turn and then correct. So it makes the the trailer jog back and forth to try and hit the hit the buggy and throw the guys off. Right, the buggy that the guys jumped off of. Better not That's jack knife this thing. Shake them off. Yeah, yeah, jack hey. knife it. All right. Like, uh, it'll be all cinematic as he, he jackknifes it. We slide down the road and it's going in slow motion. I aim out the window. That's right. And shoot. <laughs> all right. So, so let's go ahead driving, and uh, yeah, make me a drive roll. There it is. So you just want to sl- Oh, wow. 20. Ooh. So how much damage does a uh, truck do to them? <laughs> if they can't hold on, they're going <laughs> to... Well, line. you're going to hit the buggy. You hit the, yeah. the Doom buggy Do for some more damage. Fall. <laughs> and I'm going to roll some agility tests and stuff for these guys to see if they can hang on. Is this like an opposed roll, so they have to beat my driving roll? Um, no. Refuse there's just, a, tar- there's just a target. There's just a target number that I had. So... <laughs> One of these guys flies off onto the road, and the other guy <laughs> clings on. He puts his, his spear down <laughs> into the top of the trailer, and he's, like, hanging on, and it's just shaking back and forth. But one guy falls off, and you guys all zoom past him. <laughs> Hi, Felicia. Vance Vix. You've got a motorbike right next to you that shot out one of the windows on uh, Eddie Hollywood Henderson's car. What do you want to do? I'm going to um, adjust my my butt in the seat to where I'm sitting on the center console. Yep. I want to uh, uh, to kind of boost myself up a bit. And uh, you going to go through the sunroof? <laughs> uh, it, look, I, uh, I'm in the black car. Right? Okay, I'm in the black car. the window and lean across the roof. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, actually, I'll sit my butt on the on the edge of the uh, the, the door and, and look over the top of the roof at, at these two. Um, <laughs> and I'm gonna uh, do a three round burst at the uh, at the motorcycle next to us. Boom! All right. All right, and that's for every roll uh, above the DV, I get an extra a, a damage roll, a max of three. Correct. Um, okay. All right. Are you doing the buggy? You knew. No, uh, the, the motorcycle. motorcycle? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just because he's the biggest threat right now, in my opinion, because he could just pop a cap in the driver. So your your uh, total number is going to be a seventeen. Okay. Just because right. of the the driving right now. All right. All right. Oh, cool. ho, ho. it's like Hollywood, get down. So that's <laughs> two damage rolls. Yes. Um, and each of them are done separately for the uh, You roll an extra point armor. of damage. Oh, I thought it was. Uh, no, it says roll one extra damage roll. Yeah, up yeah, to that's a sorry, like an extra three. die. Yeah. So you were, what weapon uh, were you using? You were using a... Uh, assault rifle, which does 5d6 damage. So I was supposed to roll that twice, right? Yeah. Yeah, because it just says... Because it's like another bullet hitting. Yeah. For every... Okay. Yeah, so 22 on the first one and 11 on the second 22 one. 22 damage. Which... Look at you guys. Wow. Look at these rolls. Yeah, burst fire is awesome. That's why I grabbed that automatic weapon. That's why Jeff always uses it in every game. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, two X rolls. Wow. So you fire at this guy, and uh, he also loses control, and his bike veers and <laughs> falls off the road and Perfect. crashes. Hell yeah, bro! Good that, driving! <laughs> that takes us back to the top of the turn order with 40. Not 40, I'm sorry. Jury! Uh, can I even see a target? No. Not from where I you're say, at. I tell you him, he's on the roof. Yeah, you okay, can climb so yeah, we gotta roof. get cinematic here. I'm crawling out on top of the truck. 
Remember, you're the guy who also Mission Impossible. You, you jumped into a helicopter, a helicopter, and took it out. This is yeah, right. so uh, I'm probably on top of the truck. Okay, so I will have you make a roll for me for that. Athletics or what? Yeah, let's do athletics. Um, <laughs> that's not too good. No, that's not a good. That is not a good scene for you. Do you want to use a luck point? You got a one on there. Yeah, I want to use a luck point. Damn right you do. <laughs> Okay, yeah, Much 15's better. good enough. 15, you get out, and you crawl up the door and onto the roof, and you see this guy standing there. He's got his a spear dug into the uh, into the top of the trailer. It's gonna he's, be got a, a, he's got a gun in one hand. He's got a little, uh, a very heavy pistol in one hand. Yeah, I think do the same thing that just happened to the other guy with three-round burst. It's a hit. What's the target? The target number is... I'll give you a 15 on this. So that's all three bullets hitting. Yep. That's three damage rolls. <laughs> Jeez. These guys are, like, uh, really well armored right. also. Oh. <laughs> Rolling ones? Oh, two sixes. Wow. Are... Those are crappy, but at least each one of them hit. So these guys have terrible, just, like, makeshift leather armor. And you just tear this guy to shreds. Just a bloody mess, and he falls back off the car, and the buggy there behind the truck, like, doo -doo -doo, goes over top of him, like, bumps over him as, uh, they run over him and continue on forward. So you're now on top of the truck. Yeah. The, the speeding truck. Uh, 40. It's 40 in Marlo's turn, so you can move the car where you want. 40. Alright, uh... So... going hold on i think i'm gonna leave it there actually and uh, i wonder if i Get could lean brace. out yeah Ooh. yeah no i like that idea uh i don't have driving though so how can we roll that i can, I can roll marlo's driving <laughs> you, okay you can do you? that okay yeah i want i i want to just tell her slam on the brakes all right and see what happens let's do this and yeah, he would have to Yep. So she yeah. slams she hits the brakes. Okay. And uh, you want that guy to fly into the back? Yeah. The I mean, he's gonna make Yeah, that's the plan. He's gonna make a, a driving roll here to try and avoid that. Uh okay. He oh, rolled twenty five! So he see, he sees the brake lights and he just vroom, veers out of the way. Ooh, but now I have a good angle at him and I'm going to shoot at him. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna pop out <laughs> shotgun. Yeah, with my shotgun. So your difficulty is going to be a 17. Oh, okay, you ah, hit it with a 20. Well, I, I, um, so that's three over. Does that matter? No, she's not doing a burst. That's only with the like fully automatic, so you can do like, three right. bursts or just, suppress that light. Shotgun. So I it's just a good job, she's 40. Like, I just imagine she's like Lana Del Rey <laughs> with a shotgun, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That'll be well, the next uh, song title, <laughs> you know, Shotgun Bursts. Shotgun through the window. <laughs> Roll me uh, 5d6 damage on this this uh, raider. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> it's enough. It's that. enough to, to throw Got him off. Got a 6 and a 1. <laughs> it is enough to throw him off, and he starts wobbling. Uh, he, he falls a little further back, though. He's not quite uh -huh. done like the others were. Okay. This is awesome. This scenario is neat because of, of this. I've got a whole book on just like highway adventures, which would be a lot of fun to run. Um, a lot of this. Yeah. Oh, Route 66. Man. Yep, that's it. Know, that would be cool. Just like a traveling gang. Uh, just like nomads around the place. And they just have all these. Man, that's a cool campaign from us. Anyway, continue. <laughs> all right. So it is their turn. He's going to. This guy's emptied, this buggy over here has emptied his uh, his cab of passengers. So he's going to pull up here and try to shoot you, Frank Bullet the Third, to try and stop this. Uh... So how much cover does he have from that? Like, like from you? Because he's way up high and on top. Oh, me in the car. He, he wants to shoot you, Frank Bullet the Third. So I'm up high, though, in a truck. So he's going to go a little further out to get a little better All vantage right. point on you. And let's see. Does the guys. door provide some armor for him or anything? 
Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. So this guy's going to pull That's back. That's just driving. Up. Okay. Yeah, this is driving. <laughs> up like, there, oh my right, gosh. Next, right next to you, uh, 40, after you blasted him with a shotgun. And... What does the other buggy do? This guy... With the He's really got good... two people to try and get off of him. Huh? Yep. Uh... Where, where's my die roller? Woo! Where's my die roller? Two guys hop up there, and he pulls back here behind you guys. All right, so the buggy that's next to you, Frank, is going to try and shoot you. It's the driver. It's easy. it's not going to be easy for him because he's also driving, watching the road. So this is not going to be an easy check. So what's his target then? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I critically it's a failed. misfire. Yeah. So the gun, the gun jams. He looks at you. And he smiles, and he's like, he's got you dead to rights, and you're like, oh shit, and it's just like, click, and it's like, ah, and he, he's Blows got nothing. Faces. All right, I have a missile uh, launcher, so bam, he gets one back. And <laughs> on uh, my turn. <laughs> the one next to you, forty, is gonna try and shoot at you with a heavy pistol and hits. Oh. Wow. Uh. So 14 damage. What is your armor, 40? All right. It is not very high. It's 7. Oh, wait, is it 14 and all? Head is 7 and body is 7? Yeah, it's going to be 7 across the board. Oh, okay. I didn't know if that added together. So it's going to take... It's going to do 7 damage to you. Because okay. it, your, your armor eats, okay. right? 7 up to 14. And now your armor for well, I'm gonna say it hits you in the in the body is reduced by one point, so it's now only six okay. on your body going forward. Um, okay. Does that make sense? That's how damage works in yes. this. Your so she has to yeah, to re degrades. She has to reduce her current hit points. Yes, your current hit points. Right. I, 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 I stood up to uh, point <laughs> to help her do that, but you were out doing it in the process, points. so I didn't have there to. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. Uh, thanks for the follow. I'm gonna butcher your name, Gobzig, Gobza. <laughs> I'm sorry, I butchered your name, but thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. And Nick's here. Nick is in the chat. Nick, we needed you earlier. A net runner? Is he the net runner? He's he's, he's our other driver. Ah, uh, yeah, he's, he's the usual the driver. driver. All right. Nora was in here for the hacking. All right, so. Uh... So it is your turn, Frank Bullet Third. Yeah, so he's uh, he's sitting over there, uh, right in rocket launcher range. Chow, bam! So that's a assault so you're rifle. So you're gonna be driving and using a rocket launcher. So you gotta take your hands off the wheel. Yeah, because I'm not gonna uh, uh, speed up or slow down. I don't want to make any jig jag turns or uh, yeah, uh, marksmanship. Or, or Vance will be all screwed up. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna have you. It's gonna be <laughs> twenty-one. <laughs> I was gonna have you make a driving roll also, so make me a driving oh, yeah. roll. Yeah, I'll do that I'll, too. I'll, the the marksmanship's gonna stand. I would say that might be the most important one is the driving. Oh roll. <laughs> wow! But with a twenty-two, bam, you're doing really good. Um, I drive with my knees. I do that all, all the time. It's all good, Alan. It's all good. Awesome. Uh, wow! So you fired a rocket launcher? Bet. All right, so, so that's uh, 70 10. Flies out of the window. So I'm going to have him roll a, roll a driving like I did last time, but he's not going to be 25. But let's see what happens. I rolled 20. Doesn't matter. 36 damage. So this just launches out of the cab at this buggy, and there's a giant explosion, and it blows up. There's like a crater in the road now. Explosion. Use the explosion. Use the explosion. All right. All right. I was going to... You pay good money for it. Use it. All right. <laughs> there yes. It's not as good as, uh, as it could have been. Well, you know, we have the... There. We have our own, uh, you know, 3D uh, theater of the mind uh, fire effects going on. Yeah, so yeah, do yeah, the exactly. people in the back need to make uh, um, driving rolls to go through that crater? There. Sorry. Follow with virtual tabletops. Hey, I, that's ten bucks a month. I'm gonna use that stuff. 
as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> for uh, our own amusement. And to front. Crater flaming. Nice. There we go. <laughs> we got rid of the car. Um, there we go. In the road. That's where the rocket launcher went off. You gotta use the gifts, man. It's all about the animated That's gifts right. now. Oh, I know. I, I want to find a bunch and then compile a bunch on um, like Google Doc and then we can share it and stuff. And that'd be super, super good idea. I agree. I agree. Yeah, this this, this is kind of like Car Wars, what we're doing right now. They're driving big rigs down the highway and uh, there's nomads attacking. I, I said that earlier. I yelled yeah. Car Wars in chat at the beginning of this. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. So... Uh, I'm not going to have them roll to, to get away from it, but it is, it is Vance Vix's turn, so you can tell uh, Hollywood what you'd like him to do driving-wise. If anything, you have control of the token, so you can move it, just like uh, okay. Forte was doing. Alright, ho right, Hollywood! Gun it! We need to outrun this thing! I'm going to try and knock its front tires out with the, with these damn bullets! And then I'm going to uh, just pop you know, I'm, I'm still out the window, I assume, and I just kind of prop myself on the roof and look back behind and start gun, uh, gunning down in this direction. Yeah, perfect. Okay. That's perfect. Yes, yeah, you want him there? Okay. You can move him wherever you want, but he made his roll, so he's going to just punch it, like, foot down. Okay, same deal with the, uh, the three-round burst. Back at this guy. Okay. All right, so, so what, what's my target? Let's see here. So you're firing. You're further away. Three round burst. But, uh, wow, the difficulties aren't very high on these. Not for an assault rifle. It's because it's got it'll, good it'll targeting. Be, it'll be a twelve. Oh, okay. Ooh, yeah, all three for sure. Oh wait, that was uh, damage. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Um, rolled the wrong thing. Okay. All right, so I still get all three, um, and then I'll just roll damage thrice. Because of uh, the burst fire? You can take that first one. It's fine. So 22 for the first one. Oh, uh, no. That was damage. A damage roll. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, unless you want... Oh, you're saying you want... I can take it. You can take it. You can keep it. It'll uh, stick. I, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Okay. Sorry. I was mistaken. And uh, then... Whatever. All right. So, yeah. 22, a 14, a 17. And you were shooting at the driver himself? Uh, I am trying to knock the tires out of the front tires out of the Ooh. car. Okay, that would be harder to hit. Oh, sorry. Uh, well, then just just general shooting the car then, since okay. I didn't specify was well, the engine of the car. The hood gotcha. of the car. Is that fine? All right, whittling All right. away at the car. Uh, okay. So yeah, you pepper this thing with bullets, and bullets are hanging off of it, but uh, you're doing some damage. You put some holes into it, and you see some smoke coming out of it. Hell yeah, it's an assault rifle. It probably pierces right through that shit. <laughs> Alright, cool. Exciting. Awesome. These are exciting times, gentlemen and lady. <laughs> and celebrity. <laughs> oh yes, celebrity. <laughs> Miss. Alright. Sorry, I was going to see if I had a smoke. I wonder if there's a paparazzi <laughs> bot that's been following us since uh, uh, Night City. Oh, yeah, yeah drone. Right just... <laughs> yeah, taking drone, pictures. Exactly. You follow me everywhere. One time I went to Barcelona and couldn't escape. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's going to be just like uh, pictures on the internet of her leaning out of the car with a shotgun, just like gunning people. What down. will she like... do next? She's such a badass. <laughs> Right? Yeah. What can't she do? I'm like James Cameron. <laughs> All right. Um, Fury, you're up on top of the truck, and there are two armed raiders up there with you. Let's see if I can pull off the same thing from last time. I'm just going to shoot the one on the, the top one. That guy? And oh, I'm, it goes wide. Oh, oh. Got four left now. Are you gonna use point of luck? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's You're, what weapon are you? You using? said fifteen last time. Yep. You're using a SM or an assault rifle. The assault rifle. So that's two. Yep. Holy oh. man. Uh, yep. You shoot him. You shoot him to pieces, and he falls off. <laughs> 
<laughs> so they don't have the uh, the good armor, huh? They, these guys are not well armed, are armored at all. Like, are they like raiders? Good armor. That's good. These were these were made to be pushovers. <laughs> all right, he falls off, and his buddy looks like, "What the hell?" Let's do this. Let's get a little gruesome and gory and put a little blood on the road. <laughs> there. <laughs> Whatever. Fun with virtual tabletops. Why? Because we can. Like Leland said, I pay good money for this. <laughs> so let's have fun with it. Okay. Uh, that takes us to 40. 40 slash Marlo. She figures out how to reload her shotgun. Um, I'm just kidding. She's got some marksmanship skills, so she already knows how to do that. But um, she's going to shoot at that guy again right out the window. Okay. Ooh, does that hit? I can't remember. Sorry, that doesn't hit. Does busy it? playing with blood. Uh, no, that 15? does not hit. I got a sixteen. It did not hit. Uh, oh, Seventeen's difficult... been your target. Seventeen. Number. That's what I thought. Okay. And right. Does being damaged do anything uh, negative to us, or is it not until you it... hit half your hit points? Once you hit oh, half okay, your good. hit points, that's what that that threshold is. I can't remember what's called. On the awesome. Sheet. I'm gonna use a a luck actually. You're gonna use another luck. All right. I mean, <laughs> once you're seriously wounded, so it's like the halfway wow. point for your, your hit points, that's when you start getting negatives on your rolls. Much better had an exploding die on Holy that one. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, nice. You hit. Um, go ahead and roll me the damage. <laughs> Holy crap. This guy had already taken a shot from a shotgun. So you lean out, point blank. You just put the the, the barrel of the gun against him and pull the trigger, and it just like her spirals. entire body is outside of the car. And she's like, I don't know, it's so badass. It looks like, like when Death Pool or uh, 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 Death Pool had the uh, the the shotgun blast, and there's a big hole. Yeah, exactly. I need to rewatch those movies. Yeah. I love right. Deadpool. Spins out and uh, just a wreckage left behind you. You can tell, still tell Forty to go somewhere. Do you want Forty to drive over to like the, the truck um, or yeah. to the dune buggy? Where do you want let her to me, go? Let me zoom out a smidge. Uh, yeah, let's get her to drive. Moira, right? What's her name? Uh, Marlo. Uh, uh, Marlo. Marlo. Marlo, punch it. Marlo, go. <laughs> Wait, that's on fire and. The well, driver's we're, dead. We're gonna right? say that that's uh no that it's smoking. Or that's it's the one that smoking. um the advanced shot and it's okay. smoking. He shot the car up. Okay. And there's well, one I'm guy gonna... on top of the trailer. Okay. Well I'm gonna stay about here then. I've never done a role playing game with like a, a scene like this. It's pretty neat. I've done it with carriages and Pathfinder before, but yeah, okay. this is a little faster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Falling off isn't as deadly. Yeah, uh -huh. no, it's not as bad. So it's these guys' turn. So the Nomad on top of the truck, or the Raider on top of the truck, I should say, is going to attempt to shoot you, Jury, your closest target. It goes wide. Fires. He's unable to get a, a lock on you. The one in the smoking vehicle is going to try and close the gap over here because you shot at him and he's smoking and he's not happy about it so let's roll a driving to try see how steady he can get next to you not very so he's he's kind of like wobbling forward and back and forward and back he's not being he's not able to really get like side by side with you uh but he's gonna try and fire at you vance uh, he's unable he it goes wide he's unable to uh steady the shot and a name. I know a guy that helped, helped prevented that. You know? I was like, I was like, no, I'm not getting shot today. Okay, yeah. extra. Not today, Satan. <laughs> uh, so that takes us back to Frank Bullet to the third. Frank, what do you want to do? Uh, let's see. I'm just going to gun the gun it. See if I can uh, make some time. Get, okay. get ahead. Of, you know. Keep it steady so that uh, uh, Jerry has a steady a steady place to shoot him from. Sure, make me a driving roll, and depending on your roll, I'll give him I'll, I'll lower his difficulty based off your, your total. I'm okay. gonna use a luck point. Okay. All so right. So you're used to those thirties. 
There we go. So you uh, you find like the the path of least resistance, the least amount of bumps and such in the road, and you yeah. keep it nice and steady for for jury up there. Vance, it is your turn. You you in Hollywood. So this this buggy that's next to your car, it's it's doing its best to keep up with you, but he's going back and forth. You can tell Vance to try and level it out and get right next to him if you want. I'm gonna. Uh... Man, I really want to just throw some. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Fuck it, it's an action movie, right? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna take. You're I'm already gonna, leaning uh... out, so just drop yeah, a grenade. I, I... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, 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 I have my assault rifle in one hand. I'm gonna lean back into the car and reach into my my small um, uh, messenger bag that I keep my C9 in, and I'm gonna pop it out and then. <laughs> Turn like put like five seconds on or ten seconds on it or something, real quick. Just to put ten in real quick and then just toss it behind me into the seat with them. Just so you get a reaction shot before he blows up. Yeah, and then I'm gonna tell him to punch it again because it's about to get hot over here. <laughs> so we will make that. Hmm, what role are we gonna make that? I guess I'll just a straight athletics. Reflexes. Athletics. I could do athletics. Yeah. Athletics reflexes. There's, well, there's no athletics. Or mark oh, yeah. Shit. yeah, athletics is the skill, not reflexes. Yeah, athletics is deck space. I, yeah. I mean, it's throwing something. Yeah, let's like make it athletics. Like You're throwing to a toss basketball, it in kind of. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, it lands it in, your in your lap, lap. and boom! <laughs> so long, no. so much for Vance in Hollywood. <laughs> it's called a luck point. It's a luck point time on that one. If I've ever seen a reason to use a luck point, this would be the time. It's about to get okay, hot in here. Better. All right. That, that, so you get right next to it, you toss it into the car. Yeah, and, just and, behind then, me. Uh, and then Hollywood, just ho Hollywood needs it. to make a, a, there you go. Guns it. Let's make a quick driving roll for him. He's not doing anything fancy. Woo. Uh, Hollywood doesn't have luck. Um, <laughs> Can we spend luck like for him? Yeah, yeah, yeah really. Go ahead and roll me, uh, just for fun. Let's roll me your 8d10 damage, please. Holy <laughs> 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 So you drop it, and the guy looks down, and he's like, Oh, hell, and a massive explosion, even bigger than the RPG goes off. <laughs> For sure. Dude, seriously, that C9 is going to probably wreck the back end of this car that we're in. I'm just letting you know. It's um, going to be a big ass explosion. Oh, it was yeah. not and, a good idea even, to throw it. Even Frank, like, you're you're having to steady, like, from the shock wave of this thing, like, the, the cab and the uh, the trailer start to, like, weave back and forth. Yeah, Jury's holding on for dear life. Dear Lord, why are you using explosives? No! I brought multiples of these. Oh, I spent no. another luck point. We're just using them up. Yeah, I, I know. bet there's something harder to do later, yeah, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I got seven of them. I had seven yeah. of them, so I have five now. Yeah, we got a lot. All right, Jerry. There's there's one of these guys left, and he's on top of the trailer. Did he get uh, blown off with the explosion? He I mean, did. it was a pretty bad explosion. He... Let him make an athletics too. No, he no I already I already <laughs> rolled it. Yeah, Jerry, no roll. I was talking about the enemy. The nine, he did not, uh, he did not fall off. That's good. Well, I'm coming to, I'm coming to get you, fact. Jerry. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna try to pop this dude. He's riding a rocket. I just realized. I zoomed in. Uh, oh, it gets all three. Okay, roll me your damage. <laughs> Uh, and he also falls off and becomes a blood smear on the ground. <laughs> no, no, no. He so the the shot takes him into the blast zone, and he just blows <laughs> up with <laughs> with uh, with the explosion of the fiery, C9. Fiery death. <laughs> Don't you see that? I'm, I'm whipping like that. around. Like that and as soon as the truck levels out, he stops and looks at me, and then just catches three in the chest. Center mass. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Flies off the back. All right, you guys successfully fended off the raiders that, uh... Well, we'll take the music hey, back. the town's not going to be bothered much anymore now. Yeah, those were the raiders they were warning you about. 
Let's uh, let's switch. I, I yelled down to the car down there. Told you we'd take care of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, the only damage we took was a, uh, a window being shot out. No, no, in, uh, uh, forty took no. some damage. Forty got shot. Right, that's what I'm saying. That that was the only only damage yeah. we took was the window and the and the shot to and to forty. Vance took a point of damage. Yeah. Uh, oh, not Vance. Man. I'm sorry, Hollywood. Oh, Hollywood. Hollywood, yeah. not Vance. His driver. I thought his yeah. window ate the damage. No, he ended up eating like one single point of damage after between the window and his armor. Got a cool scar on his cheek now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh yeah, Forty's got some badass scar now. She's gonna work it into her next tattoo somehow. I don't know. Next song. <laughs> yeah, and her next song. <laughs> These scars. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so you guys continue on. You get the hell out of there, and you make the turn off onto uh, onto Highway 85, which is uh, the 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 stretch to Tucson now. Route 85, I should say. Route. So we we're getting next or near uh, Tanopa. Tanopa. Yes. Well, this is heading into Tucson. Tanopa was your your fueling stop Final. that you guys okay. hit before. Uh, with the, oh no, the uh, Indio. Indio was the fueling stop, right? Indio was the first one that was outside of Palm yeah. Springs. That one was uneventful. The second one was uh, Tanopa, which was where the townspeople oh yeah. uh, approached Warned you. Us. And now you're out of Tanopa and you're on the next uh, the next lake. So you wanted to avoid Phoenix. You wanted to go around there. Um. Yes. <laughs> so Marlo gets on the comms and she's like, "What the hell was that?" I think those were the uh, the nomads that the town warned us about. Well, the, the ones we weren't gonna take care of, right? Well, I guess I guess we did that town a favor, didn't we? <laughs> Let's see if we can get them to uh, to to pay us for that too. Yeah. Right. So you guys make your way uh, through, for the rest of the day and into the evening. And uh, come evening time, she radios over and says, uh, "Let's let's lay over in Tucson. Let's call it a night there." Tucson sounds good with me. Tucson has a bit of a reputation. It has reverted back to its like wild, lawless nature uh, of the past. It's more of a, a nomad culture here. So a lot of people just kind of passing through on highways. Nobody really stops and lives here anymore. You What's guys, the nightlife like? Well, you guys, you guys pull over uh, in a truck stop, and at the truck stop there is a there's a, uh, a saloon by the name of the Hammered Thumb Saloon. And Holly goes on, he goes on the uh, on the comms and says, "Hey, I've stayed here before. We can uh, try and get a room here. We'll, we'll call a night. We can get some food, get some grub, and uh, get a good night's sleep. We've been going for uh, tw like 24 hours now. I think we could use it." Yeah, definitely. I'm exhausted as shit right now. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. Um, if I happen to use up all of my explosives before we're done, can I get some more out of the box? Uh, this is Marlo you're asking. She goes, uh, yeah, yeah, she's fine. If we, if we run in trouble, yeah, for sure. You can have some more explosives. Just don't use all of them. Awesome. Money. Oh well, try not to. So Hollywood that was takes, just really fun. <laughs> Hollywood takes the lead, and he basically takes the highway around Tucson, and uh, he says, "Hey, this place is on the it's on the outskirts. We can we don't have to go into the city. Um, we'll, we'll we'll stop here." So he drives for a ways, and it's uh it's off the beaten path. But you eventually uh, you see a a wooden building, ramshacked wooden building, with a huge parking lot outside of it, and there's a big sign that says the Hammered Thumb Saloon on the side of the highway the parking lot was filled is filled with dusty cars bikes uh enormous armored cross-country uh big rigs similar to yours and panzers panzers are um like hovercrafts that people use to get across the uh the wastelands in the future so there are a ton of people here they're like standing around like burning barrels with fires in them uh people are having drinks there's like fights breaking out here and there and you guys pull over and you you, you pick sounds out a like spot. the set of a music video yeah oh yeah there you go 40 you can shoot your it's next very familiar there. territory for me yeah <laughs> there's there's a lot of people walking around in like western garb because again it lives up to its reputation that's kind of reverted back to this like wild west setting it reminds me of the bar in um uh 
from Dust Till Dawn. Yes. The, the strip joint, like out in the middle of nowhere with all the dusty old cars in the right? desert and stuff. It's perfect. <laughs> there's a there's a mix of nomads and truckers here as well. Nomads not being like raiders that you guys encountered, like outlaw nomads. They're just like nomad groups that just make their way across the, the desert. And uh, yeah, they're all kind of mingling and stuff. And you can see people coming and going from the bright lights of the hammered thumb saloon you can hear music some honky tonk being played making its way out out the door not quite your style 40 but uh you know it's what they like here what they don't know is that uh I, maybe I, that's a little bit secretly my style like i grew up singing that you know the honky tonk so i'm like mm, mm, yeah that's part of my past. I don't know what people about. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a little nostalgic. Yeah. Honky tonk music's pouring out, laughter, there's shouting. There's people being thrown out into the onto the dusty uh dusty sidewalk outside of it. Uh you guys find a little area that you pull off uh away from everyone else and Marlo hops out and uh she heads over to the cars and she suggests like you, you guys might as well go in there. Get a bite to eat, scope it out, see if there's any rooms, and uh, I'll watch. I'll watch the trucks. Just, uh, just send me a message if there's any trouble, okay? Got it. So, uh, when we go in, we're look. I'm looking for. Uh, is this a, a weapons out kind of place? Uh, you know, uh, open carry type bar. Oh, yeah. everybody's got something: yeah. uh, a sidearm, a shotgun, yeah. a rifle, yeah. whatever. Uh, and it's mm -hmm. and the inside is like an old western decor also they're really playing up that that old west mystique uh, there's a, there's actually like a guy sitting at an upright piano who is playing like a honky tonk style of music on there it's probably an android there's uh waitresses and working girls circulating the crowds again it's much like it is outside as, as well it's a mixed crowd there's people singing there's dancing there's drinking there's fights breaking out uh this place is it's, pre it's pretty wild it's pretty lawless in here uh behind the the bar is a uh a, po a pot-bellied man with an apron and a green visor and there's a young woman busy busy pouring beers next to him in, in bar attire well i'm gonna try and look cool Let's go up to the bar get some food all right head on over the bar you want to approach the the bartender yeah or the waitress uh probably just you know wherever and get food sure yeah yeah you go up to the waitress and she's yeah. busy she doesn't even turn around to look at you she's like yeah yeah what what do you want uh some uh some burgers and uh and uh, uh something to drink and a beer yeah yeah beer uh we don't want burgers no we got beef we got pork we got beef we got chicken we got beef. do you have a vip booth uh no <laughs> she doesn't she doesn't turn around either doesn't look at any of you no we don't have a just grab a table grab a table where there's wherever there's something oh and we got right. beans you want beans we got lots of beans get a table beef and beans and beer beef and beans yeah yeah okay fine i'll, I'll bring it right out what are the rest do you want sausage um well what don't I want? I am freaking starving. Do you understand the trip we had? Holy shit. Uh, do you have any, like, uh, crackers and cured meats? I have and beef cheese. and pork and beef and chicken and beef and lots of beans. Now, I have other customers to tend to. What do you want? Okay. All right. Whatever. Just a, a medley and some booze. The booze that tastes the best. <laughs> I don't know. Fine, fine. I'll, I'll bring you all some plates of food and uh, and a beer. It'll be fifteen euro bucks. All right. Forty. All right. I got should, it. Don't can, worry. Uh, <laughs> think for our, our meal and rooms. When this place over. You mentioned Bro. rooms and she laughs. She's <laughs> there's no rooms here. We're full. We're booked. You can have a hot meal and it's some drinks. There's no room. Sleep in your trucks. In your vehicles. Can could I get an ice water with no ice and a small <laughs> bowl of half lemons and half limes <laughs> on the side so I can create my own non-carbonated sort of like a like a sprite? I don't know if you've ever heard of that. Uh, 
I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> She's an agravarian. <laughs> she says you can have beer, you can have whiskey, you can have. Rum. I'll take whiskey. Whiskey. <laughs> this Fine. is forty you're talking to. I'm just saying. Okay, and I'm twenty-two. I have work to do. I. I'm. <laughs> It's fine. I'm trying to live like one of them, so don't try and treat me. Any I'm trying kind to live like special. one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to understand how the common folk live. How aloof is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, yes. Okay. So you guys take a seat, and uh, yeah, this place is just packed and full and just rowdy. And you're scanning the crowd. Um, Nobody really sticks out. This is a lot of locals, or it's truckers passing through. And uh, you get your food and your drinks after some time. It's nice to have a hot meal. This is really the first time you've had a chance to relax in over 24 hours. You probably realize you can't really relax, um, given the, the 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 situation and where you're at. All right. guys want to do or anything while you're here they told you there's no rooms left yeah i'm just trying to um you know keep an eye out um on we should probably the, the, our truck anyway yeah well while we're in here drinking i'm gonna keep an eye out on who seems to if there's any like uh you know move makers or like uh you know bosses or anybody that seems like they might have a crew with them or anything i'm kind of just like that might be hanging out in the bar right uh, yeah you're, you're scanning the room and as you scan the room you realize that the group of you are the ones who stand out <laughs> this whole bar uh, everybody else is like like i said nomads or truckers <laughs> locals there's a uh, you guys stick out like a sore thumb and as you're scanning the room you see you see this 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 girl she's like in her early 20s she comes over to your table frantic and, and and she she sits down next to you and she's like please 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 you, you've got to help me please please i, I i've got to get away from him i need i need protection from from from, from my boyfriend he's 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 abusive please you, you you're not from around here you, you got to get me out of here Oh my god, I totally understand. I just broke up with this guy that was just horrible. He... You can get her album on uh, uh, iBaby. I... <laughs> yeah. I oh. wrote a song about it. Oh, okay. I, uh... Can, 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 I, can, I, can I come with you? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you headed? Can I come with you, please? Oh, you know, you, you're just going to have to deal with it on your own. We're not here to help, uh, you know... Get in the way, get in, get in any of the local uh, 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 scene here. Would you like an autograph? No, no, I don't. I, I want to get away from my 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 boyfriend. Okay, c come on, let just let's go have a word over here. And I basically just sort of pull a seat up at the table or an op open seat for her to sit down. And just kind of turn away from these two ridiculous people. <laughs> I'm a little more ridiculous. I am drinking whiskey, I want to say. She is drinking yeah. straight whiskey. So, yeah, I just motioned for her to sit down to talk to me a little more one-on-one. -on -one sure. about, yeah, about she what's comes going over on. and she's like, yeah, please, I, I, I need to get out of here. I got to get away from him. He's terrible. Who's your, who's your boyfriend? Tell me more about him. Big Roy. Big Roy. Is Big he Roy. A, a, what, what's he involved in? What does he do for work? He's nothing. He's he's he he is a terrible person. <laughs> he's, oh, he's not involved in any any local gangs or anything. No, any organizations no. he, we need to watch out for. He attacks he attacks trucks and shipments as they come through. And I said he, is he here tonight? Yeah, yeah, he's here. He's here. He's outside. He's outside right now. What does he look like? Give me a, give me a good rundown he's, of his he's, appearance. He's, he's like he's like six foot seven. Big beard. He's like a tr tree of a fella. Yeah, it sounds. Uh... Listen, I where where are you where are you going? Can I uh, maybe I can help. Are you headed? I don't necessarily. You... 
I don't necessarily know if it's a good idea to tell you where we're going, but uh, maybe you can come with us to get away from him, and then we can drop you off at the nearest safe location. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. That, that'd be that'd be great. Thank you, thank you. And she's like super grateful for that. Uh, she's I, looking around. She's all nervous. Sh- uh, let let me consult with uh, with one of my higher ups, if you will, and then I'll I'll let you know for sure if that's a that's a promise I can uh, sure I can you know yeah. keep. Ho- Hollywood uh, leads go over. over. He's like, what's going on? I'm gonna go look over at Hollywood and Marlow or whatever. And I'm gonna Marlo's like, with the trucks. Hollywood's there. Oh, with you. Okay, Hollywood's like Hollywood. What, you, what's going on? What is what does she want? You think we could give this kid a ride, or you think we could trust her? I mean, if we we could put her in the, we could make sure she doesn't have any weapons on her, and uh, we could put her in the cab. Uh, and if she tries anything, we could put a you know, put a bullet in her. You know, <laughs> if we have to. Uh... Um, but she seems to be in an abusive relationship, which just is an all around kind of fucked up thing. So you know, it's kind of uh, our duty as halfway decent people to maybe at least give her a ride down the road a bit. At that comment, I look over and go. <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood goes, yeah, yeah, like, we've got room, but how do we know she's not working with them? Yeah. With that, the, the door swings open, and there's a big, burly fella in... Six foot two. Yeah, six foot seven. Six foot seven with a big flannel <laughs> shirt on and a trucker's hat and a big bushy black beard, and he's got two guys on either side of flanking him, about the same size. He's like... He just shouts, he's like, where is she? Where right here. She? She's right. She's right. Right here. Scanning the room. Yeah, uh. and he sees He sees her sitting there with you, Vance. What's the? What's going on here? What are you doing with my woman? Well, okay. Let's have, come on over here. Let's, let's, let's have, let's have a little one-on-one. You and I, I'm going to stand up and kind of approach him, kind of amicably and just sort of hey, uh you're, you're, maybe steal someone else's drink at the table to sort of bring and offer him another one are there any like peanuts or anything at the at the bar here sure yeah yeah oh i'm getting i'm just pulling the whole bowl and turning around watching this <laughs> <laughs> your, your eyes are like at his chest <laughs> big, big big jake is that it uh big roy you heard of me yeah yeah um she your girlfriend or fiance? What fiance? Is that it? Yeah. She, what do you? What do you, what's, she, what's it to you, pal? What do no, you do? Why is in. she sitting here with you? What are you doing with him? What are you doing well, with him? Came, he, she he came grabs in. her and he pulls her over like forcefully. Can I roll persuasion? Because I've got such a high cool, <laughs> and I just want to like like something snaps like because I really had like a past bad re- relationship and the whiskey's just flowing. I'm like, hey, you put her down, and I just, I don't know. Start playing one of those country music uh, uh, <laughs> songs that you're so good at that uh, talk about, you know, so the abusive relationship. Versus, uh, it, divorced. You, you can make him think, oh my god, that's me. <laughs> like Fist City or something. Do you want to try the reputation one. again? Because reputation, good like it's Fist described in the reputation for this. As, a, as, a, as a form of combat, it, it is. And you can like have like a match of wits and stuff with that reputation. Do you want to do that again? Because your character's built for that. Um. So reputation, I don't see reputation. That was that here. one where you it... you had the base score of sixteen, and then you roll. Oh, okay. Out. That's your cool okay. reputation. Okay. Yeah, I would like to do that. Okay. Do you like go over to the piano and start like playing or something? <laughs> She's got her own thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do have my guitar with over me your, over your shoulder. Yeah, I'll just I'll just start playing and singing like super passionately that specific song I wrote about my ex. Okay. All right. <laughs> See you here. All right, so you pull out the guitar and you start singing. Yeah. It's a sad country song. Um, I get out the uh, the lighter app on my uh, my phone. Yeah, I sing Fist City by Loretta Lynn. No. <laughs> oh. oh, he got a critical failure. He's weeping, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's standing there, but then he's he's got he's got uh, his his girlfriend there behind him. What am I doing and with my And he's staring, life? he's staring at you, Vance. And he's got his fists out, and he's just like looking down at you, ready to just like throw a blows. And then Forty breaks with the guitar and starts singing and strumming. 
and he he looks down and he looks at her and he looks at you and he looks at his girlfriend you see, yeah you see his eyes start to tear up a little bit man who who are you what are you what are you doing here that's 40 her music slays all emotions <laughs> you're gonna need a tattoo after this one you want her autograph <laughs> How about some tickets? You two want some tickets? Maybe that'll help your relationship out a bit. And he's I'm trying kinda, to gauge the girl's like, reaction. He, sh he shoves you. He says, "Just stay away from from my woman, all right?" And hey, maybe you could uh, you could come out to Night City and see her in concert. Yeah, that's where we're headed. Yeah, he just he shoves you and walks away. <laughs> okay. That's the best we can expect um, from this one. <laughs> I feel I like her. we should still save her. <laughs> of course you would, uh, and I do too. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna just observe how she, what's what's her reaction to all this. I assume she still just looks scared shitless. She, she, she looks to to like forty and just kind of like mouths, "Thank you." Aw. And he he, he hauls her outside with his with his crew. I'm gonna follow him. Oh, right. I'm gonna once they stop giving eye contact with me, I'm just gonna stand up and just sort of nod at the rest of the group and say, oh, if I don't make it, I don't make it. And yeah, I'm gonna you, uh, you, you pick follow my outside. assault rifle up. <laughs> <laughs> you follow outside and they they're going through the parking lot, he's kinda like she's like pleading and he's pushing her and they get to like a group of trucks, like pickup trucks, and he just tosses her in there and t tells his guys to to follow him and they, they load up into the trucks. Okay. Um, I want to. All right, I'm just gonna tell you what I want to do, and you can tell me how we're gonna do it. <laughs> um, overall, what I in just in general, what I would like to do is to like kind of run up with um, my explosives because <laughs> it's in my messenger bag, <clears throat> and I want to strap a bomb to their vehicle. And I want to set the timer. Or is it a timer? Is it just a timer? Or do I have a detonator? I didn't. Oh, uh, let's see. There's timers. Just timers. Okay. I set a timer for like five minutes. They look like they're about to leave. Right. You said. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I want to set a timer for five minutes. Uh, is she like it? in a seat yeah she's, she's um, in the seat she's in the she's in the cab the okay car. you toss all right uh, man i wish there was a way i could kill them both contact her <laughs> and let her know to vance, hop out in like two minutes vance, hop out of the car vance just can't walk away when, when he walks um, out the door i turn around with my uh, penis just kind of disappointed <laughs> all right um yeah, I'm just gonna, man. I don't know. Do I have? I don't have time to like write a note. Ah, oh, shit. I'm just gonna say. I'm just gonna try and sneak up to the door and whisper to her, like to the passenger seat, without them seeing me. I know that's stupid, but that's that's what I want to do. Because I want to whisper to her to like hop out in a few minutes. <laughs> All Things right. are gonna get hot. So, so you, yeah, you can just. So you're walking to the truck though, six. but Big Roy's at the truck. Well, yeah, I want I, to. I, so is she in the passenger seat? I want to wait yeah, until he comes. He, he comes seat. around the other side of the vehicle, and I just want to sneak up to the passenger window and kind of whisper, like, "Hop out!" And like, two do you want to? Do you want to stealth? You want to go unnoticed? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Make me a stealth roll. You're kind of like, um, like hiding between cars down and stuff. Between cars and yeah. Uh, does, I, don't, I don't have it listed. Uh, it doesn't I think that's evasion. Stealth. Evasion. Evasion. Yeah. It's a dex okay. roll. Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Ugh, that's a one. I'm gonna, that's yeah, a you, yeah. Fail. I'm gonna do the luck thing again and uh, try and get a, get out of jail free card. Uh, oh, 19. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you use the shadows between the mm -hmm. cars and like from the firelight because uh, there's like flaming barrels all around. Um, and you you make your way beside the truck and he doesn't seem to notice you. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of wave at her 
to look out the window a little bit, like because I'm like kind of down on the sure, side of sure. it. Sure, sure. She's 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 uh looks like she's crying and she looks over at you. She notices you. Get out. Three <laughs> minutes tops. She's kind of like what? <laughs> What? It's gonna fucking blow up in five minutes. Get out in three minutes. Just hop out of the car and let him drive away. It'll did you blow up? Did you plant the explosive? No, not yet. No, I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> no, as soon as I've given her, you know, letting her know to hop out in three minutes, I'm gonna doot, <laughs> five minute you bomb guys, down there. Well, on. You're gonna make a big ruckus. It's gonna make a big. Well, but big hopefully explosion. they're leaving. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna set the timer for long enough to where it'll just blow up while they're like down the road. Basically, was the, was the plan, or like driving out of the parking lot or something. Okay, so and then you sneak away. I'm not gonna make you roll again. You sneak away. Yeah, and then I sneak away. So yeah. you're kind of like watching from a distance. Yeah, just like kind of waiting to see what happens. <laughs> All right, so you uh, see, not, I don't really care so much about her. I just want to ho- hope hope that they that it blow. Well, I do care a little bit about her, but I'm more or less hoping it. <laughs> It blows up away from the parking lot. <laughs> Not, hopefully, they don't sit and decide to like hang out and have a powwow before well, driving she off. She gets out and he starts screaming at her. Get back so, in the car! Uh, Get back in the truck now! And he like. Goes so is there like, like a motorcycle that I could uh, hotwire and uh, pick her up on <laughs> while they're outside? There's there's motorcycles everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna uh, hotwire one of them and and uh, swoop her up, and so that they'll have to follow me. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I'm make, sorry. I know this is like totally make, off the rails. Make me but... a drive roll. Ah, <laughs> uh, so that is the sheet. Did um, you seem pretty infuriated about this, Forty? Did you 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 have any plans uh, to aid in this uh, ridiculous mission? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> All I can think of is that song. I'm going home, gonna load my shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to shoot the guy. I don't know. Is that too harsh? I mean, you're blowing him up. It's not too harsh. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll let you figure this out. You seem. I don't want to really be near the explosion. Uh, Smart idea. Yeah, if he comes running out surviving, then I'll sh- I'll somehow I'll try and shoot him. But, <laughs> um, yeah. No, I, I'm not sure how. I hope she can get out. <laughs> so, Frank, so I rolled a 21. Yeah, so Frank, you get on a, a little rough to his girlfriend. You're gonna blow him up. Wow. Frank, he yeah, no right. Uh, Frank, uh, Frank gets on a uh, dirt bike, revs it up, and like takes off on it. And some guys like, what the hell? Where are you going with my bike? And I swoop you, her up. You swoop, yeah. You zip by and you grab her. And uh, Big Roy's like, what the hell? Big Roy's I mean, a scumbag. He's done. I made an athletics roll to to grab her up. He he goes in the back of his truck and grabs a shotgun. Mm-hmm. And he's gonna attempt to fire at you. Yeah, that's why I'm uh, going fast. He did not roll so well. Okay, so he fires a shotgun. <laughs> As he fires a shotgun, the truck next to him blows up in the parking lot. The truck next to him? The truck that has the C9 in it. Yeah, he's standing next to the truck. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, it was supposed to be on a five-minute timer. I thought there's a three-minute timer, and she told he told her to get out in three minutes' time. No, no. Five-minute timer told her to get out in three minutes. That's what he said. Oh. So you got two more minutes, and then it blows up beside him. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get him to chase Gotcha, him. gotcha. All right, so he shoots at you, and he tells his boys, get after him! So they hop in their trucks and they take off and uh, he gets in his and he starts to drive off as well. Yeah. Boom, you. boom. And uh, so you're just kind of like gunning it down the highway. Yeah. I'm, I'm uh, uh, keeping her, uh, uh, keeping her safe and uh, then I'll drop her uh, someplace where she tells me to. Okay. So you're gunning it down the highway as fast as you can. And, uh, yeah, behind you in, in a few minutes' time, you just see a massive explosion uh, <laughs> rock the highway behind you. I hope this dude's done worse than just, like, smacked her around and a then, little bit, because I just fucking blew his ass to like, high what, heaven. What was, what was that? Uh, that was just uh, Lady Luck on your side, finally. Uh, is, is 
Roy okay? Uh, oh, you know, I, I would probably be planning to uh, find a new boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or honey, just live that single life. Hope well, they didn't have any kids and you just killed your dad. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> They're now <laughs> orphans. Oh, no, you know, know. She's a widow. Yeah, sometimes that's not a bad thing. <laughs> oh, he didn't I say right. beat her. He just talked rough to her. So no, no, he true. beat her. She you, she had uh, bruises. I feel like that was implied. Big, she Big was. Roy is no more. She came to us in in desperate need. With bruises and black yeah. eye and our Talisorian <laughs> wanted us to save her. Okay, <laughs> her name was a lot of assumptions going on there. I know, right? There, she just wanted you to get her out of there, but uh, you end up killing Big Roy and his and his <laughs> posse Fuck. instead. You're so much nicer than me, Matt. I'd have had to be like, no, you don't understand. Drive off with him and then have him kill kill both of them. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Does she live on the second floor? Uh, All right, so uh, yeah, I drop, drop her and come back. Uh, some dump, and uh, yeah, you go back. <laughs> yeah, you go back and you see Marla at, next to the truck is talking to a uh, to some guy, uh, a young handsome man, well dressed right. fellow, is standing next to the truck talking to Marla. You notice this, uh, Frank, when you come back on the motorcycle. And uh, I flip the keys to the kid, and uh, I say, you know. That's a nice ride. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I see him uh, talking, huh? Yeah. I, uh, I use our um, our group's uh, internal chat, and I say, uh, Marla's talking to somebody. Well, he's a handsome looking. Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, I don't. I don't see him. Never mind. Uh, yeah, she is cold who's she talking to? Uh, do I know? Him? Have you I seen do, him before? You would not know him from seeing okay. him. Nope. Well, she's the boss. What can we Got do? A negative one, my uh, <laughs> yeah, you're, my, I, uh, my local local expert. I have no idea who this guy is, but <laughs> they seem to be friendly. They're smiling. They're chatting. Maybe she's looking to get a little action tonight. <laughs> yeah, no reason to Found clam us a room. walker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So since I've eaten, uh, I'm gonna head over and and. Uh, uh, Tell Marla she can uh, go get some food. She, she goes, you, you didn't get me any food? I told you to grab me some grub when he went in there. You guys been in there for two hours. I'm starving. <laughs> we ate all the food. <laughs> Just like, ah! She did ask you guys to get to her some her food. <laughs> we totally forgot to bring her a plate. I didn't what the hell? I've been waiting here at the trucks. I'll get her something. If someone ra radios me that we need to get her something, I'll, I'll bring tell her. her. I didn't hear I'll, you I'll say she asked. I'll bring food out and then I'll tag out with her. <laughs> if she wants to go in and use the bathroom or something. She, he, he, uh, the, the, the handsome young man next to me, she goes, he says, oh, what kind of, uh, what kind of company you keep in these days, Marla? She goes, oh, he's just some, some, some people I hired for a job, the, the job I was telling you about. And the famous Forty, the the musician, you oh. know, just some people, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, he he turns to you, um, Frank, and he goes, "The name's Sedge." Hey, Sedge. Sedge. Frank, Frank Bullet. Good to meet you, Frank. And Marla steps in. She goes, "Yeah, well, S Sedge and I, I met him. I met him years ago, uh, back in Israel. He's the most mercenary bastard I've ever known. This guy is." Hardcore. Uh, and he's uh, he's on our side. <laughs> she goes, Sedge, yeah, we go way back. We fought side by side. He's uh, she points over at a Panzer, which is one of those big land hovercrafts, like heavily armored all terrain hovercrafts. She goes, he's he's also running some valuable shipments uh, cross country here. Well, gotcha. hopefully his, uh, of this. Hopefully uh, his uh, ship didn't get shot down. Mil Militech? Yeah, he's he's also Militech. Running the same direction that we were going? He's going further east. Well, we yeah. should run as a caravan until we have to split off. More protection. He says, it's not a bad idea. What do you think, Marla? I'm she explained, well, we're going south. We're going we're going El Paso. You're you're heading east. Due east. Uh 
Uh, we couldn't get a room. Uh, they're all full. No, uh, I guess we're sleeping in the vehicles tonight. Yeah. Well, did Big Roy have a room here? Maybe we can get his. <laughs> Big Roy did not have a room. Big Roy is a local. <laughs> not anymore. Did, did Big yeah, Roy have a room? Big Roy was a local. <laughs> Big Roy. It was worth an ask. <laughs> it's vacant now, to be fair, wherever his bedroom is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wherever that here. may be. Uh, Except for his goldfish. His little children, so. Oh, yeah, that's right. The, the children he was super awesome to. On that the you, side. Yeah, <laughs> Look, foster care in the future is going to be great. It's better now, fine. fatherless. Be thanks better. to you. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Uh, May have beat his wife, but he loved his kids and treated them good. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Two sides of that coin, you know. <laughs> yeah. Right. All right. So uh, Sage says, "Yeah, yeah. It's good. Good seeing you, Marla. Good. Good luck on your trip tomorrow." So. She goes in and she finally gets to eat. She's furious at you guys for not getting her any food. Well, she's not mad at us blowing out. some guy up. Well, she's not aware of that. She doesn't know that that happened. Oh, well, well let's not tell her. her. <laughs> We're not telling her. I had help. I had what an are accomplice. You doing? You're going to get the local authorities' attention. Do you really want that? Do you want the sheriff poking around? Shit. Maybe. At least we wouldn't have the nomads on our ass. What are you doing? Boasting about that. Keep your voices down. I definitely let everyone know not to mention the uh, fact that we blew up Big Roy. <laughs> the Boom Boom <laughs> Roy. Boom, boom Boom Roy, yeah. Formerly known as Big Roy. Uh, on the side when, when she's not listening, of course. No, Boom Boom. Yeah, don't tell anybody that I blew him up. Worst case scenario, I'm going to claim I'm a celebrity and I've been kidnapped. <laughs> If like everybody gets in trouble for this, it's like I didn't do it. <laughs> All right, you guys, you guys, yeah, fill her in. She's not too happy. She's not happy you didn't get her meal. She's not happy that you blew up Big Roy. That you're getting, you're meddling in locals' affairs. But uh, so whatever. This is the last leg of the trip. We'll make it to El Paso tomorrow, and this this will be over. You'll get your pay. I'll get you back to Night City. I'll fly you back. I'll fly you back in luxury when this is over. All right? Thank goodness. <laughs> I am not looking forward to whatever the hell I'm going to have to sleep on or in later. Yeah, you can uh, sleep in the back of the truck. You can sleep well, one of the bunks in the in the truck. It, at, at that point, it hits my character that the faster I go to bed, the the better spot I can call dibs on. So I'm just going to like chug down my beer real quick, slam the drink down and say, well, I'm going to bed. And I just start running out, uh, or run out to the parking lot, start looking for like the biggest spot to set up a uh, bunk at. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to sleep in the driver's chair. Just lean it back. Yeah. I say I'm going to kick back the passenger chair as far as it'll go. Right. Say one of the, did it have a sleeper on it? The, the truck does. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There's well, then that's the bed I'm there. claiming. <laughs> <laughs> I already said I'm claiming the truck. best bed. <laughs> it was locked. Step me in. <laughs> I called dibs on the bed, dude. <laughs> okay. Rude. All right. Yeah, right? <laughs> Rude. Rude. So now what, um, so what do we need to do to make it through the night? Yeah. And, you know, you, you hear voices and shouting and fighting and all that. And you have the best night's sleep that you can. And come, like, first morning light there's banging on the truck boom 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 on all and all the doors of the vehicles and marla's saying and she's like hey let's go let's get out of here you get your rest uh i'm gonna do a check on the vehicle make sure there's no bombs attached and uh... sure specifically bombs <laughs> exactly yeah. yeah you can make uh make me a perception roll <laughs> yeah sure it looks like there's no bombs the luck on there. it's clean <laughs> I'm spending a lot of uh, Yeah, so you give it a once over, you're gonna need the truck, you check all the different areas and uh it it seems it seems good. It looks good. Nobody's messed with it as far Four as you left. can tell. Alright. <laughs> so you guys head on out. So she gets on the radio when you guys hit the road and she says, okay, from here on out, this is rough terrain. We got to go through the mountains. 
between Tucson and uh, El Paso. So this is going to be rough terrain. We have a general idea of where we're going, but the uh, the roads, a lot of them have been like rock piles over, rock slides over them. Nomads have set up. Uh, raiders are out there. So we're gonna have to be a little careful. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to navigate our way through here. So, I so is that a skill? Well, see, in the old book, it's an intelligence roll. In here, I'm thinking maybe an education, which is tie. Well, we do have intelligence, don't we? Yep. So that'd be local expert. Yeah, let's do local expert. Or tracking, one of the two. Or both do you have tracking rules? Yeah, I have tracking. Do tracking That's an intelligence. For me. Yeah, role. that'd be that. That works. Make me. Can you make me three in total? We're gonna do a group of them. Yeah. All right. So you're you're driving through and you're radioing to Marla where you think the best routes are, and um, you guys keep you, you take a turn and you you hit a piece of the road where there's been a rock slide. You you have to back up. You have to go back the way you came. You you try another route and you know it's rough terrain. You can make it through there, but you're you're losing precious hours of the day. Um, you guys carry on for the next leg of the trip, and again, it's like you seem to be hitting every piece of bad luck there is. Something's always slowing you down, stopping you, there's pits in the road, you, you have to change a tire, uh, but it just keeps adding and adding and compounding. And it's like now, like, late evening. You guys should have arrived in El Paso at this point. You, it wasn't a, a long stretch, but, um... You guys have just had the worst luck with trying to navigate through the mountains. You eventually get through them though much later than anticipated and uh, you you start you get down and the, the road starts to flatten out and even out uh when all of a sudden uh, everybody make me do you have awareness or notice perception perception check make me a perception check that's the roll of the night you guys see a huge dust cloud behind you it's a ways away. You're not able to see what what exactly it is, but there is a massive dust cloud heading in your direction, and it looks like it's gaining speed. So it doesn't look like a big storm cloud, or no, like it's storm. something's driving this way, or a group, or something. Uh, so with all this extra driving, how uh, how are we doing on fuel? You're doing all right. This was supposed to be a day trip. Uh, it's going to be tight. You're doing okay. You guys filled up some some tanks when you were at. Uh, at the sore thumb. So you do have uh, some backups on you. Radio in if anybody didn't see it. Like, hey guys, uh, looks like we've got peop something coming this way pretty quick. We need to increase the pace a bit. Sure, Marla oh, yeah, we looks do. in her rearview mirror and she's like, she's like squinting. She's like, oh, whatever. It's it's probably sure, you, you want to be a storm. You want to get up on the roof and uh, <laughs> I'll uh, and set up a rocket launcher. <laughs> Uh, let's wait till, till we get a little bit more of an idea of what this is. <laughs> yeah, it could just be and a dust storm. Probably do that. <laughs> All right. So, what do we need to do to uh, to be prepared? Reload our guns. Yeah. yeah. You guys are gonna load up and just keep keep pressing on, keep pushing on, right? Yep. yep. Hell yeah. Okay. So you guys are driving, and this is getting closer and closer and closer. And um, you're watching the rearview mirrors, and uh, it is distinctly, it looks like a Panzer is heading your way. One of those big land hovercrafts. And, I think uh, your buddies are catching up. Over what did the you radio. tell them we were carrying? Yeah, over the radio. She's like, Marla's like, nothing. I didn't tell them anything. Well, I think that's who's coming up on us. She looks in her rearview mirror and she's like, God damn it. Sedge, what is going on? All right, get ready. He's coming you got in. his phone number? Call him. She, uh, yeah, she radios over to him. And uh, you can hear over the comms. He's like, hey, it's nothing personal, Marla. Someone just paid me more. I need to stop that <laughs> shipment. I need to destroy. And kill you. And the radio Some cuts friend. 
So this thing is huge, it's massive. It's way bigger than your than your semi truck, and it is covered in armor, and it has big guns on the on top. Turret, like a mounted turret cannon. Uh, it's got a twenty millimeter cannon on top. It's got uh, coaxial machine guns. Four of them mounted. It's got missiles on it. This thing is barreling across the the wasteland and coming towards you. So the the they want the cargo. So uh, the two uh, SUVs will be the the targets to get rid of them. So we got to be careful. I want the cargo go and ahead. that's Marla dead. I'm gonna go ahead and um while we're preparing, one of my preparations is gonna be to take my C9 and prep it for a six second timer and not hit start yet, obviously. Just six have it se six seconds. Yeah, just sit yeah, it's like a grenade. Does that so I can just chunk it like a grenade. That's a kind of a long grenade actually. He's waiting so for it to get close. Give myself a little extra time. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna um, toss. I want to like toss it on the hood or something like, or somewhere I know where it might stay. You know, kind of like I did last time. Just have it ready for that. Okay, so uh, I'm getting prepped and I'm gonna load up and I'm gonna carefully get up onto the back of the trailer. Sure, I'm not gonna make you roll because Frank will slow down. You guys are prepping, right? So it's not like okay. yeah. he's gonna do anything and to like. As I get a rocket prepped, you. I'm gonna yeah. take some of the C9. I want to take two of them, and I'm going to pack on both sides of the head of that missile. <laughs> so it's going to be a little heavier. So you got to adjust jury. your aim. They call yeah, see, that's why I put it on both sides, so it's jury. not too heavy on one side. It's a metric, there you go. Sir, right? And I'm getting that prep for when they get close to hopefully. Uh, you know those spikes okay. that were uh, holding those uh, those uh, 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 those guys up. You might want to uh, use something like that to anchor yourself to the roof. They're probably still up there. There you go. Anchor yourself down and and uh, hunker down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. So this thing gets closer. Uh, do you, are you going to just like fire on it when it gets within range, or what do you want to do? Well, let's see how close this thing can get because. Yeah, distant range is tough. I mean, I've got a long range, but it's a uh, 800 meters is a, uh, a score of 30. I don't think I can roll that with my uh, three in marksmanship and uh, reflexes. Of, my reflexes is 10. So, I mean, I've got great skill. I'm just not trained as good in the uh, skill. So, I'm probably looking at needing to get at least 200 meters away. Or however far it needs to be to get to about that 20 roll. So the um hmm. your truck has an armor of 25 60 25 60. 60, sorry, 60. So let's keep that in mind. It's got 60 hit points. And this thing is getting closer and closer and closer. So uh it might be best to have the the small vehicles actually ahead of me rather than behind me, because he's not going to blow up the uh, the uh, goods. No, I thought he said he wanted the goods destroyed. Yeah, that was his, his, his specific. Oh, story. I thought he wanted to take them. I thought he just wanted to kill Marla. Destroy them and kill her. Oh, okay. Unfortunately. Yeah. So nobody's safe. No. <laughs> well, maybe the cars. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, so this thing gets closer, and um, <clears throat> suddenly some fire, a rain of bullets erupts from the turret in your direction. Uh, and it unloads on the back of the trailer. It's target. Uh, let's roll damage. Twenty-two points of damage off the sixty. It just this big, giant twenty-millimeter cannon just shreds. These bullets come flying through the sky. You can see like the heat tracers. Yeah, as they as they fly through the air, 
and uh, find uh, find the back of the uh, the trailer. Just put giant holes in it. Are we in initiative now? We will be. All right. I've got. I put the hit points on the trailer. It's got thirty eight hit points left. Wow. We will do initiative. So you can see someone on the turret as he gets closer, and it is not Sedge. Is that your new initiatives? No. No, I haven't rolled yet. I don't know why I didn't get rid of them. You can go ahead and roll new initiatives. Make sure to click your token before you do so it automatically programs it. I can't click your click token? To do anything. Oh. I can't target mine. Oh, sorry. But then I'm, that was no help. Oh. I'm rolling shit on initiative. <clears throat> And what was the truck? 12. 12. Oh, the music stopped. We need our combat music now. Do you want that on again? Yeah, that's, that's a good sound. So we both got the same, but I have a plus 10 and they have a plus 6. Does that mean that I would actually go first? Yeah, you're going to go first. That's not so bad. All right, so... This big thing is barreling so down the highway that, towards you. That's 200 meters, because that's when uh, when we were waiting for. Or oh, I don't 200? know what their cannon range is. Oh, if they the get range of this cannon is huge. This is, a, this is a giant mounted turret. But it's now barreling <laughs> up behind you. This big 20 millimeter. And since right. it's already in range and to hit us, I'm just going to wait till I get a better shot. So, is it approaches? Yeah, it's approaching. <laughs> okay, let's hope this does good. Where did you want the cars? Did you guys want to reposition the cars to the front? I don't know that it matters. It's just so they have good, uh, uh, Where they good, can shoot. good line of sight. Okay, so uh, I'm going to line him up. Hopefully. Yeah. I should switch over the overlay so people can see the map again. There we go. Is this there buggy here or is that just from last time? Pardon me? This oh, that's, that's from here. last time. Delete. Thank you. All right, so you're 20. What are you trying to shoot? You're trying to shoot the guy Dead on the, center. On the I'm turret? shooting center mass. What are the most vulnerable part? If there's like a driver cockpit area or something the there. The turret is uh is is the one causing the most damage. The turret is exposed. The guy's standing up there manning the turret, and there's someone driving, but you can't see them. Yeah, but if, if, if the driver gets screwed up, then it's not going. I don't, we don't need to worry about the guns if it can't yeah. drive. Yeah. Yeah, and you have uh you have good height, so you could probably get either one. You're unable yeah, to see I'm the going driver. For the, for the You're cockpit assuming there. it's inside in the cockpit somewhere, but you can't you can't really make out. It's this thing is heavily armored. There's there's a armor plate on the front and like a slit that they're probably looking through. Yeah, that's the area I'm aiming at. You need the now, thirty for that. <laughs> I was gonna say, remember there's the aim for the head uh, rule, which is a mess. Well, that would well, that would be a minus six. Yep. But... Uh, that won't hit. Uh, well, a, I'm, a the main thing, I'm not trying to get it in the little thing. I want to just hit the cockpit area. I know yeah. it's armored. Yeah, you, you hit with a 20, so that's a good thing. You, you hit you hit the vehicle, but not uh, not through the slit, okay. not into the cockpit. No, no, I wouldn't expect it to go through the okay. slit. However, I strap two of the C9 explosives, so I get to go roll oh, the Oh, this is the, the rocket missile. launcher. Gotcha. Yeah, yes. yeah. So oh, I thought this is be... your assault rifle. No, no. This is the rocket. That's why you needed a twenty to hit it. Right. To it. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm a little slow. It's That's okay. why I just wanted to hit the cockpit <laughs> area. Gotcha. So do I roll three damages? Two for each, or one for each of the explosives, and one for the missile? Roll it all as one damage. So that'd be seven, ten, twenty-three, no, ten. 9, oh, 9, 18, crap. plus 7. What's That's 25. Thing? Well, 8, no, wait. 8 D10, so there's 16. Oh, 8. And then okay. another 7. That, that's 23. I thought so, it was higher. Mathematics! I will tell you this, that the windshield has the highest amount of armor on it. It is written that way. Oh, I'm sure you gotta protect the driver. Yeah. Wow, it's... Those but, watching on stream can see the number I'm putting in for the hit points. It's a lot. Okay, well, let's pray there are no ones. 
Holy <laughs> crap. There are ones, but... <laughs> there are a couple tens. That's nice. Four tens. Yay. <laughs> it has, a, it has 100 armor on the windshield. Well, only 31 get through. That's uh, pretty damn good. <laughs> so you launch the this missile. <laughs> it goes through the sky, and it slams into the very front. The most heavily armored piece of the of the uh, hovercraft, or the panzer, and explodes, and pieces of metal and shrapnel fly everywhere. Hot metal is raining down, and you can see that the cockpit is completely exposed, and you can see Sedge in there, and Sedge is singed. He's a little, he's in a pretty rough shape right now. Uh, he took a good chunk of that. Good. That explosion. Oh, he deserves man. it. 31, he's probably in 15 armor, so that means he took 15 points. He's not so bad. <laughs> is he driving it? He is the one driving. He's not the one on the gun. So did he, take, he took about 15 points, didn't he? That's not so bad. I like that. <laughs> wow. I was not expecting that. Neither was Sedge. Good thinking. That is why you are our, uh, our jury rig guy. Neo. All right, now uh, we got a. Vance uh, uh, <laughs> has got the, his C9. Say <laughs> there were four max and four minimum. Uh, Holy that's man! We All right, it. jury did a huge number on. I wow, I did not expect that. Good, and, good job. Well done. That's it's awesome. Well, two hundred and thirty. So there could have been a hundred more points in there. You could have blown this thing to nothing. Uh wow. Okay, Forty gets to shoot now. Yeah, now it's Forty's turn. So, Forty, where do you want the the cockpit is open? Do you want to? Uh, where do you want Where do you want Marla to drive you? Yeah. Uh, wow. So, That's assuming awesome. we're in motion, tell her yeah. to slow down. So she kind of slows down. So she's kind of just like right in front of him. And what? Uh, sorry, my microphone was like really far away from my face. Um, I'm gonna. Sh Try and shoot with my shotgun through that front cockpit zone. Maybe. Ooh. Yeah, that's a hit. That's a hit. Okay. okay. What do you? What story is a shotgun? Four more. Yeah, yeah. The shotgun. Oh, okay. No, the shotgun's not gonna yeah. do it. Sorry. No, oh, it's not close enough. Point? No. Um. Close assault weapon. Shotgun, because you're firing up into a big giant. Oh, uh, I didn't know it was huge. like super it's tall. It's like 30 feet okay. off the ground. It's uh, massive. It's like the size of the road. It's huge. So even though it's it's open for a shotgun to get uh -huh. back and towards him and up, it's not going to. It's not going to do the trick of the job. It's gonna you got really uh, you got luck and you rolled a six. So you you probably need a a 20 or 25. With a shotgun, she's going to need yeah, like a 25. <laughs> Uh, and, like, you'd have I to have mean, an explosive. I don't have anything guy. to so lose. To throw some, uh, explosives I still have four luck left. Yeah, I don't have any explosives. I mean, would it be worth trying with a very heavy pistol? Uh, or is that no, a good thing? Easier with a pistol. Yeah. I'll give it to you at a twenty. Okay. Well, can I roll that? So? Yes. Okay. With the luck. Okay. Uh, it goes wide. Yeah. <laughs> Just roll the damage first. Yeah, I love it. Roll oh, <laughs> roll, roll oh is that roll, damage? Roll, Shit. Roll I meant to do. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, again. Ah, so close. Oh, well. It just like rings off oh, well. next to him. I still tuck my luck down. <laughs> All, right. All right. It well, is uh, Frank's turn in the, in the semi truck. <laughs> just runs like over. A lights, I was a like, just a uh, let's see. Over the car. So, uh, I guess with all that damage that took, I'm going to try and uh, speed up. Okay. Uh, driving roll. Yeah, please. So you want to get further up? Yep. Widen that try gap. And get some space. Yeah, yeah. My, my gap. Easily widen that gap. Put the hammer down. <laughs> right? All right. So many corny old references. Yeah, right? Well, this is a <laughs> convoy. 
<laughs> All right. This here's the rubber duck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this thing is still going, uh, and it's its turn. Oh, no, Marla, you're right in front of its path. Uh, mm-mm. <laughs> uh, mm-mm. That's not what she meant to be. This, that, that was uh, someone else's fault. <laughs> Whose fault is that? <clears throat> Blame 40. She's the one that told her to drive there. <laughs> yeah, that was Mar- me. Marlo <laughs> didn't agree to this. Marlo was like, oh, okay, I'll slow down, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, trust me, I'll be able to shoot at it. Yeah, it's going to barrel past you. Uh it does not care about you. It cares about the uh, the rig. So that's going to be some driving rolls, huh? Yeah, uh, Marlo's going to have to make some driving rolls, you know. <laughs> Can we spend a luck point for her? Yeah, <laughs> she does not have ask. luck, unfortunately. <laughs> so what kind of damage happens to them? <laughs> So this thing's going to push forward, and it's going to push you guys off the road. It's going to nudge you the other way and just kind of... She has to do some maneuvers here, but she's going to, like, hit some bumps in the road and some rocks, and it's going to end up doing some damage to the vehicle. Um, just be, a, like, a, what, a couple of rounds behind or something? Yeah. Just, but the vehicle's also going to be damaged, so I'm going to roll some damage for the vehicle. Oh, that's not bad at all. You're, you're lucky. <laughs> Off the frame. Okay. So you guys hit some bumps. The car is now chugging. It's making some noises. It's not doing so hot. It's smoking. Smoke's coming out from underneath the hood. But uh, And you guys are, are a little further behind. But uh, the car is still going. That was low damage. It was good. Uh, but it's going to get close to the trailer. And it's going to fire. The guy on the turret is going to fire on the trailer again. It's a big target. <laughs> Even though it's moving, it's still a really big target to hit that trailer. I do not know how we were meant to to be victorious in this. This seems so one-sided. <laughs> Jury's got a good thing going right now. Oh, well, he did, yeah, well, with like a kind of crazy kind of... explosive bomb. He threw. Yeah, kind of, you know, no pun there, but I spent my load there, literally. Now throw that, uh, yeah, throw, throw that grenade underneath him. No, we're, so it, we're going cinematic next turn. It unloads another round of tracers. They cut through the sky, and again, they cut through the trailer, and it ends up like hitting some of the tires, and the tires are starting to like spin out, and you're trying to, you're doing the best you can to keep control of it, uh, Frank, and uh, the trailer's going back and forth with you on it, Jerry. You're, you're okay. That's And it's good driving roll, so you're doing your best to keep it steady, but it is it is in really rough shape. Marla's so it's taken like, more than half of the damage. Oh yeah. So it's got it has 17 hit points left. <laughs> That's plenty. Uh so <laughs> it could maybe take one more shot, maybe one more round, but their their mission they are focused on taking out that trailer. Uh oh and Marla's behind them, but they'll go get Marla later. All right, Vance Vix, you're you're up. Um mm, Okay. I'm going to can I slide up there here? No, probably not. Probably can't slide through there, huh? You got rubber flying off this thing. Um, I want to try and throw a bomb into the cockpit. Um, so I guess just book it and get in front of them, and then book it around here. Like that, sort of? Yeah, yeah, he made his drive roll. This guy, is, he, he's hes written, his NPC is written as a driver, and I rolled a nine. So, on top of his, his scores, yes, he can kill okay, me. Okay, and, and then I want to try and throw, like, a, my six-second bomb into here. <laughs> um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait two seconds before Look throwing it. it. Uh, I'm going to fucking, I don't even care if that hits or not. I'm going to re-roll it. Yeah, it's not going to hit. Oh no! <laughs> but my bomb just falls to the wayside. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna fall, and it's gonna go underneath the hovercraft. Wow! Uh, what's it? A six second? A two second? Or what was it? Six second, but I waited two before so throwing four it. Seconds. So four so seconds. So roll, roll me the damage. It's gonna hit the undercarriage. It's gonna hit. Like, it, it's gonna hit the, hit the your big party cushion underneath. Oh, 
Uh, okay, let me see what this thing has for like the big the big cushion on the bottom of the hovercraft. Well, hey, that worked out anyway, I guess. That's a, did something. I, I was like, are we moving like really slow? How much it would have doing like oh you know, my 80 god, to it deflates! It deflates. All of a sudden, it goes off and, like, the, the big I cushion just starts deflating, and, and it's now <laughs> grinding on the ground as it's moving forward. The sparks flying up, and it's starting to to lose. Now, could uh, Jury have jumped over there? Uh... That's what I was going to do. <laughs> Before, uh, it's, it's, it's starting to fall back. You... So, if I make a driving roll, can I keep up with it so Jury could jump over? It's out of turn. Um, jury, You're not I'll supposed to say hold, no, DM. I'll let Jury hold his action <laughs> till your turn. Yeah, because okay. what I was going to do is like I was going to say, man, I'm going to jump and and roll and come up with my gun and shoot the uh, gunner. That's going to give um, Forty and Marla a chance to try and catch up. I'm going to make a driving roll for her. Oh, pitiful. Nah, you guys, you guys get behind it, but uh, you're not able to get up next to it. Marla. Oh well. Do you want to try and shoot at the guy on the turret? Um, yeah. I'll give it a shot. I'm just gonna... It's gonna be, it's gonna be difficult. I'm gonna make it a... He's up higher. Uh, we'll make it a 20. Okay. Even though it's with a pistol. What I guess. Hit. I got a you hit the guy on the okay. turret. Roll me damage. <laughs> Alright, so that's just 46 for this. Damn. Only 7. 40's like the MVP with the gun this session. <laughs> wow. 1-1-3-2. One, one, oh my gosh. Can All right, so to reroll damage, you fire <laughs> and know, it, right? it hits nice. this guy square in uh, in the back. It takes him by surprise, but he's wearing he's wearing bulletproof armor. He turns, what the hell? He spins around and he points the turret at you guys now. He sees Marla, <laughs> he sees Marla in the uh, in the driver's seat. Uh, oh, sorry, I skipped mm. your turn. It is uh, it is Frank's turn. And then we'll All right, back so to the plan is to. Move yeah. this back so that he can get to the turret. Jump on and get to the turret. I rolled is 22. Turret, or do you want to get in the cockpit? No, I want to get the turret because it's about to blow this truck up. Okay, so the 22 is successful. You're able to steady yourself next to the oh, the ooh, 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 the Panzer, the hovercraft. Ooh, do you have any luck left, Jerry? Yeah, I got four for four luck. So where you need to ace a roll. Ooh. You only get to do it once? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, he's like uh, in, uh, he's right between both vehicles. You, you jump over and you are, uh, you're hanging on. You're hanging on to the side. So you jump, you're hanging on, you're not quite up there. And you I got the trailer are... just attached. You're side by side. Uh, since I did a drive roll, can I still shoot, or am I not able to shoot? I'll let you shoot. So, uh, are we near the, uh, can I do the cockpit shot, or? Oh, the cockpit or... would be the front. He fired it dead on in the front, so you'd have to, sh you want to shoot. So, well, the turret shot. guy turned the gun around, so he should be right by you. The turret okay. guy, yeah, the turret's pointed at the car behind you now. Okay, so that is marksmanship. Uh, and uh, I think this is my um, SM SMG. Is that what? SMG. Okay, you got yeah. a little hand. Uh... Oh, Holy I have uh... crap! All right, it hits. <laughs> uh, Should have called shot that one. So, eighteen. Got one and a six. Okay, that's enough. That does. A... So you level your SMG and you pff, unload, and a spray of bullets go out and they oh, hit this guy. Oh, was he using the assault? Are you using an assault rifle? Yeah. So that how that then you get all three. Well, that's if mean? he's doing three round burst. You can do a, just a regular shot. You can do three round burst. Oh, I didn't know. I haven't done this before. So why would you not do a three round? There's yeah. No <laughs> exactly. Why would you uh, not do a three round burst? All right. So what that means is you get to roll damage three times. And armor counts for each one. So yeah, it has to go through the armor each time. So I didn't do a whole lot to him, but no, I did he, more so you than hit him, nothing. And he's bleeding. He's like, what the hell? And he looks back at you. Ah, uh, wave. 
It's <laughs> time, time for their turn now. <laughs> he is going to shoot at Marla's car. Uh, oh, eight is high. Eight is high. He's got a 16 total. We're gonna try. We're gonna roll her drive. She she sees him aim, starts to fire, and just swerves out of the way. She, she her dice exploded. She got a critical success. So bullets start choo, 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 just chewing up the highway where the car was. And but she managed to get away. You could have died there, Forty. Uh, that was really yeah. That was really good. Roll on my part. <laughs> I kind of expected you to die. I did too. <laughs> it's a great music video concept. This is very cinematic. <laughs> the this, end of this, yeah. it's actually this was all for a video. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> so this takes us to Vance and Hollywood. You're in front. You can see into the cockpit. All right. Um, I'm going to just have him stay steady, dude. And then I'm going to um, I'm gonna get on my comm. Uh, and I'm gonna say over to um, y yo jury. Thanks for the big flaming ho hole, bro. And I'm just gonna start unloading uh, rounds into the cockpit. Uh, assault rifle again. Yeah, I'm gonna do the uh, three round burst. Ugh. I don't like it. I'm gonna use a luck. Ooh, oh, I like that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm Stand shooting right. the driver. Oh, oh shit. 28, you nice. You almost did, like, max damage on that first one. Holy man. Uh, yeah. Yahtzee! Second one's not bad either. No. Um, shit. Even if he has good armor, that's going to be tough he on He has good armor, but he has terrible hit points. Uh, Vance, man, you just, you just killed Sedge. What it... <laughs> Describe the kill. This is this is uh, yours. Uh, two to the chest, one to the head. Now the the seat behind him's just covered in gray matter and skull fragments, and just sort of slumps down. <laughs> and this and, thing uh, starts screeching to a halt. Let's go of the wheel. Yeah. yeah, it starts screeching to a halt. Ha <laughs> 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 Do you see that shit? As you uh, throw another. Uh, uh, see, no, see oh. No, no, because uh, oh, uh, what's his name? Forty. Oh no, uh, jury's on the side of the other vehicle. Oh yeah, I know, so it's, right? It's screeching to a halt with, with jury hanging on. In he's between, just... sandwiched in between two, the, the the trailer and the vehicle, he's gonna get smushed. <laughs> so, so I'm keeping up with the. Uh, I'm, I'm as it's slowing down. I'm slowing down because I don't want jury to get lo uh, killed. <laughs> right, right, well, right. If it's slowing down, there's less chance because it comes to stop. Then I don't have to worry about falling and splat on the road. <laughs> so uh, yeah, parkour is like. Is you it need to make... down? I, I turn sideways and I start running down the trailer. Do you need to uh, make an athletics roll, or how would you get back up and get in there? Yeah, it's gonna be an athletics roll. Yeah, do another Hashtag athletics. Parkour. Oh no, that's, that's my a god! Point. What the fuck? <laughs> Two. I, I don't. I don't like even know they got that low in this one. Well, it's because yeah, it's a little critical gotta... failure. Roll another d10. You subtract that from yeah. total. Oh. Uh... You still rolled a crit fail. Dude. <laughs> At least it was slowing down. It shouldn't hurt as bad. <laughs> We may lock, we may be, you may be doing another pre-gen for next, yeah. next cyber. <laughs> All right, you're gonna fall off. The dice just wanted to screw up my cinematic moment. So did you, because I was gonna jump over there, kill the dude, and I was gonna pivot that <laughs> gun around to the cab. And you had such cool up. plans. <laughs> remember how physical damage works? Like when it's not being shot, when it's being punched and physical, your armor only eats is only half as effective, right? Yep. So 16 damage. Then I have 11, so that would be 5 unless you round up. No, round down. Okay, so that'd be 5. So it took 11 points of damage. I got 25. Okay, so you're fine. So, so Jury falls off and rolls on the road behind this thing. Marla picks him up. Yeah, right? <laughs> and up. I speed off. Runs over me. Shit. Oh, wait, the guy's going to shoot him. Oh, There's still, still a guy on the, on the cannon. 
Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna have to shoot next. Uh, so I'm next, right? Uh. uh oh, 40. 40s, 40s. 40s next. Yeah. <clears throat> um. I think Marla needs to get a little closer to the car. I mean, sure. to the. It's the it's gas barely, it's creature. barely moving. Well, it's come to a stop now. Yeah. So. <laughs> right. Yeah. So let me take a shot with my pistol. There's still a guy on the cannon. Yeah, He's on the hurt. on the cannon. And he, yeah, I'm gonna shoot at this guy. He wants to blow up the truck and you. F that. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna shoot at him. Okay. Yeah, it's it's He's, easier. He's not moving anymore. It's easier. <laughs> I'll do it. Okay. Seventeen. All right. My damage track here. This guy had way better armor than Sedge, um, being the guy on this <laughs> side, but uh, he yeah, made a lot of damage from Vance's attack. Oh, and your first roll of 28, holy oh, crap. Um, yeah, that, that dude definitely uh, needed more armor being on the outside. That <laughs> is enough 40 to take him down. How do you kill yes. this mercenary guy up there um i guess okay i'm gonna shoot his leg out from under him and he'll fall off from a great height and just smash his face into the concrete and that just you know kind of smushes his brain and there's a and boom boom maybe. as you a run boom, over him boom. yeah he lands Ooh, next yeah, to the jury that... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Forty's backstory is actually that her family is from, like, the Mafia, so I, yeah. I didn't let y'all know it, about that. She's we'll Mafia that grew up singing uh, Honky Tonk. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's right! <laughs> the Honky Tonk background. Shrimp Boat Mafia. <laughs> so, <laughs> you think. Thing. So Marla, should we uh, scavenge anything from these guys? No, we I get mean, the hell uh, out of here, she says. We keep right. going. Bye. <laughs> Hang on, I want to. Is I want to see. Is there any way I can repair this thing to get it going? Oh no, no. You assess it. It's got the front blown open. The 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 like the cushion or whatever the sack underneath is completely blown open from C9. There's no way you're gonna get this thing working out in the middle of the desert again. I'm like really sad now because I'm like, oh, <laughs> what I could do with this thing? <laughs> Damn it, Vance. So I'm I'm gonna scavenge whatever I can off of it that's useful real quick. Okay. And then we get out of here. Any kind of uh, communications equipment. I want to disable any GPS. Or... Yeah, is his yeah, phone yeah, still yeah. available? And stuff. Yeah, yeah. You, yo, you can disable yo, yo, that. Yo, yo, yo. Did y'all see when I shot that dude, the driver? Did y'all see that? No, that was awesome. I was hanging on the side for my dear life. Man, two to the chest, one to the head. You know what I'm saying? That's hey, was cool. She's going to have a great the... video. We're going to have a great video uh, a video for her to, to so, release. Oh yeah. Any useful gear and equipment we can scavenge quickly. Shit's gonna go viral. Yeah, yeah. They, well, they don't have like they're armed just like you guys. They have SMGs and heavy machine guns or machine guns. Hey, I'll take but, all their uh, guns. It's, and it's all stuff you personal. you guys already have in the back of the trailer. <laughs> yeah, stuff we could keep for personal, though. Probably gonna have to take some time Sell to for, uh, you guys swap out some uh, tires. A crew to a helicopter and other things between all of your adventures. Yeah. Now we got a little mini arsenal. All right. Oh, so, um, Marlo's like, son of a bitch. He was, a, he was good people. He was good people. <laughs> but it had to be done. You were him. When I first saw him, I knew he was a bad man. Yeah, I should have, sh I should have planted some C9 on him on the spot. Because mm. <laughs> that's what we do. That's what we yeah, do. Yeah, that's, uh... <laughs> That's the thing about mercs. You can't trust them, unfortunately, because the almighty dollar always wins out in the no, end. Mercs are highly trustable because you know they will go to the highest bidder. Well, forget. yeah. She, she she says this must have been an inside job. Nobody outside of Militech knew that we were carrying this. Freaking moles. All right. Uh, so is there any way to salvage his phone? Figure out who's who's sending him messages from uh, inside uh, yeah, Militech? You can, you, can get, you can get his... Uh... I, I flip to Marla and I, uh, Marla and I say, uh, "All right, here's the evidence. Make it work." Yeah, we'll get our net runner on. This I'll take his hand with me so that he can do the uh, the, the thumbprint identification. Yeah, it's just she, laying she there somewhere. She starts going through it, and uh, she sees that there was actually a wire for five thousand euro bucks, 
and a, and it's there's a message saying this is in this is in advance of the ten thousand for destroying the truck and killing Marla, uh, and it's uh it's from a Sandra Benetti. She's like son of a bitch. She works for she works for Militech also. Uh, Jamal. Well, tell her uh, tell send her to send a message. message. Tell her to send a message saying the job is done. Yeah. And so that when we get there, we can surprise her. She's like, that's a good idea. <laughs> she, she replies back, the job's done. And she takes a picture of the... Oh, no, it's the hovercraft. I was going to say the... No, no, she right can now. take a picture of take the back of the... Because uh, it's all beat up anyway. Holes and there's blown out tires. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's going to be tough to drive as it is. <laughs> Prop up the body of the dead mercenary in the... In the, in the... Exactly. The, behind the wheel and just kind of it's like <laughs> blurred you can't see it and when Make the money it look gets like transferred, we need to see if we can get hacked into his account and get the money out <laughs> so call up Drew hopefully she's not bleeding out somewhere yeah right we're GN when we need him he probably <laughs> had he probably oh, has Facebook they're he bold. has Facegram set up so that it'll it connects to his bank so Marla can just wire the money back to herself. So you guys continue on for the rest of the day. It is uneventful. After that, <laughs> after that turn of events, the rest of it is, uh, is uneventful. Um, you guys make the delivery to the border, to the, uh, the, the, the war that is happening at the border. You guys do that and true to her word, Marla sets you up with a luxury flight back to, uh, to Night City, first class, and pays you your, your, she gives you a bonus. She gives you 1500 euro bucks each rather than the the bonus i tried to what was tried it? to skim off of it was yeah. 1200 i tried to scam 1500 off of her and she went the wrong she wasn't way having it she wasn't yeah, having this it this is yeah. another 15 on top of what we did right so uh we were oh, were we able to be be in on this thing with sandra see her well, see her face reaction as she uh sees marla come up to to, that, to conquer out that is a possible future mission there we go. To go after Sandra Benetti. So, yeah, uh, Marlon says, hey, I like the way you guys work. I'll be in touch again. There'll be more work from you coming from Militech in the future. Appreciate it. And uh, your your bank accounts get that much bigger and your, uh, your reputation within Forlorn Hope also increases after another successful job. There. there you go. That was what was the name of this? A hard road to go. That's awesome, <laughs> man. I, I there are you know, if you ever run out of cyberpunk one shots and and you just want more cyberpunk one shots to run, I'm definitely could help write some because uh, I like I like the idea of us all just like taking these characters and kind of taking them and playing them as often as we can and pulling different people in to do different missions and kind of, I don't so, know, it's, it's pretty cool. Never done a series of one shots like that. Bert, Bert and I are we're going to work on the idea of, um, we're going to take the rules from 2020, we're going to try and figure out and crack the code behind character creation in red and build characters and then between the two of us we're going to do that. We'll both run in the same world and we'll just grab players. Like whoever's available when one of us is running a game, get on in it. And we're going to do like so a semi-ongoing pseudo west march kind of and it's gonna be all cyberpunk but we're gonna use the cyberpunk red rules but set in the 2020 world that we've been playing in I, have, I, have, I just realized i have the rule book for mechs we can do some mechs too it was fun yeah, yeah. Was a lot of fun. I, I, yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it it was uh yeah it's a neat that little adventure fun. doing a little a little road mad max uh kind of trip yeah, if uh, if you guys are uh, available again, I'd love to play more. Awesome. Yeah, it's great for you to join us as a player for once, not just in the chat. <laughs> and thank you to everybody who joined in. We had a nice steady uh, viewership here the whole time. So thank you for everybody who watched the whole time or dropped in. Always appreciate it. There will be more Cyberpunk Red in our future. Because I love oh, it. Yeah. I love the setting and I like the, I like the system. It's fun. It's well done. Yeah, I actually like this character a lot now. I didn't really like him so much last time I played him. Now Vance so has grown on you. Oh, yeah. I love Jury. Yeah, you've oh, played yeah. Jury every time. Now Constance, hopefully you fall yeah, in love with really... 40. Yeah, I like her a lot. <laughs> she might rename herself. I don't know. 
the artist formerly known as 40. That's yeah. literally, yeah, I was just thinking that. Yes, it's just, just a symbol now. Cool. Yeah. Let's, uh, I think the defenders of Cobalt are still going. Let's go raid them with who we've got here in the chat before we call the night. Raid the defenders! Mini raid! Thanks for watching, everybody. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Defenders Thanks. of Cobalt. Is it raiding? The channel's intended for mature. This channel is intended for mature audiences. Okay. We're not oh, mature no. at all. Is that. Are we not allowed to raid them? 41. A birthday has passed. 41. Oh. <laughs> I see. Thanks for uh, joining us, Australia's Plays. I don't know if you normally are here, so uh, it was awesome to see you here. Maybe we're not allowed to raid chuck but uh thank you everybody we'll be back on sunday we're supposed to play land of og but i am not prepped for it so maybe we'll play something else don't tell bill uh because we're on a two-week break from cthulhu so we'll play yeah. something we'll figure it out on sunday might maybe we're supposed we'll to have it. some savage worlds tomorrow you'll be able to make it i might make it i might make it i know mike is absent for the next couple of weeks so if we play cyberpunk then uh, nora can also play with us again if we do it on the weekend i think uh oh nick said that mike may play tomorrow what? Mike told me he's traveling, that son of a... <laughs> yeah, that lion... I mean, bastard. sorry, uh... Never uh, mind. Uh, Jim. That's what I was talking about. Uh, Jim. I, might, I might have the wrong dates. We'll see. He did tell me he's traveling <laughs> for a couple weeks. Caught in a lie. Oh, it's, it's next month. Alright. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you guys for playing. This was a lot of fun. Thank you for everybody who tuned in, and thank you for uh, especially to our new people who have joined us tonight. Always like yep, to see new people in the chat. Have a good night, Thanks. everyone. Bye.